Changes now coming from the orange side. Wholesale changes needed for the blue side because they are have been caught out. It's 2-0 early. And can they stop what has been a tide now from the orange side? That's Dylan Marple playing the ball. He's going to get it back. It's out on the wing. Looks like plays that ball forward. Looking to cut through, looking to create something, looking to change the tide of this game. And it's going to be a throw here. Or 114. Jag Zaharia. Back out to Zaharia. Played out back. That was Jacob LeBlanc now with the ball at his feet. Just tries to spray that across. No one on that side. We're early in the first half. FTF showcase here at Edmonton. 2 0 for the Orange side. My name is Steven Sandor. I'm here for, with you all day, calling the action from these showcase games. Zaharia. You had Bo Peral on the one side, but decides to switch it up. It looks like Darge cuts that off. Plays that out wide for Chan. That's back to Ian Zahara. Kadia plays that up. That's Mills Fred Baptiste who had the ball on the wing. One away for the blue side. Throw coming in on that right wing. Catch it with the first to the head. First two with his strong header back. Blue side will try again. Risky ball back. Naylor has time. He's going to play this on feet. Doesn't wait for it to get to the penalty area. Plays it up to Beauperall. Good first touch. Great second touch. Almost a great ball through, but Kadja cuts that out. There we see some dancing through the defenders by Jackson Pescod. Kadja. That's Joe Fandozo. Zaharia. Oh, tough ball played back. Forcing Naylor to do some work. He controls that nicely, looking for Bo Peral. He's not going to get there. Chan, the goals, one of the goal scorers today. Let's say these goal scorers. He scored the opening goal. Dylan Phobes with the other one. He plays that. Long for Fred Baptiste. And this rolled in. Naylor collects. Can this blue team, team one, recover from a couple of early blows? Zaharia certainly wants to do something about it. Plays it to Boparol. Boparol's going to have a shot. That doesn't miss my much. He goes near post. Tries to slide that in. Some applause from his teammates. His teammates like that. Which short have had it covered? I think so. But still, you have to credit the attempt. Zahara coming out from defense. Zahara plays that to Liam Castro. And that finds Jackson Pescod. Kadia Pescod. 
Gives that away. But Zahara cleans up the mess. Does well there. Gets that ball wide. There's Chan. Fandozo back to Chan. Chan trying to win the race there. Zaharia plays that into the middle. And that was Dylan Marple. But this is cut off again. Solhab Al Hiyuni. Now it's Castro. Castro with it again. Castro keeping control of it. Playing it back to Zahara. Chan. Can't quite get to it. Kadia to Zahara. Just controlling this. Taking it easy down the wing. That was Fandozo who lost out there. This is striking Kizik. Kizik. He's going to have a go from way out. And puts his heads on his hands. I mean, sorry, put his hands on his head. Not his heads on his hands. Thought that would be silly. Put his hands on his head in anguish after screwing that shot well wide. Short with the kick out. Zahara. He's, team's telling him to go long with this, and he does. Castro. Pescod. Scott to Chan. Chan's frustrated. I heard him cur disgusted himself with that pass. Zahara. Has it out. Kizik trying to challenge him. Kizik gets ahead to it. Kizik. Try to play that back. Doesn't win that one. But he gets the ball back. He plays that out to Andre Tanasio. Doesn't quite come off. Pescod with the ball through. Oh, and it comes through, and there's a goal. Let's see who that goal is from. Ball comes through, and there's some confusion on the blue back line. I'm sorry I didn't pick up the number of the player who scored there. The red-headed player. Can't miss him on the pitch. I'm trying to match the player to the name. I believe that was Dominic Douglas with the goal, number 68. I'd like to say it's 68, and indeed it was 68. Dominic Douglas with the goal there. Apologies there, just couldn't pick up the number on the back, matching it to the roster sheets I have. But Dominic Douglas with the finish, but real confusion again in the, in the blue back line. Again, these, these aren't players that normally play with each other, and there does seem to be some familiarity that you know the players don't have with each other right now. And it's it's three nil to the orange side. That's 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 the bottom line right now, and it's coming in waves. Oh. Chan, Phobes, Douglas with the goals for the orange side. And here they come again. Alhayuni, Castro, Pescod, playing that wide to Claire. Sorry, that's not Claire. That is Fret Baptiste. Kizik wanted to get that ball, but it's cut off by Zahara. Zahara back again. It's got, it's got Endozo. Boparol cuts that away. Gets it to Zaharia. That's played around the back to LeBlanc. LeBlanc's got it back again. LeBlanc to Dylan Marple. Marple tries a long ball. Not, not coming off. It's out to Zahara. And once it begins again, Ian Zahara's got the ball for this orange side. It doesn't matter. They've subbed out players. They've subbed in players. And no matter what, the... Uh, Orange side has been the dominant one 
and by quite a bit in this game. 3 0, and we're still in the first half. Douglas now running onto the ball. Douglas going to win the throw. You just wonder when the bleeding stops. This Douglas coming forward, playing the ball into Pescod. Fred Baptiste blocks that one down. We have blue side with the throw. Fred Baptiste to Chan. He loses out that time. Rare time that Chan's lost out, but still the ball goes, finds Castro. Back to Zahara, and Castro's got time and space, and Castro will play it out wide to Kadia, who's got all sorts of time to make a decision, but he plays it out quickly. Kadia back again. Zahara. Blue team's trying to be compact and not really getting wide, but they're also not pressing. Just leaving the orange side a lot of time to sort of Pick their spots. Boparol. I've called his name a few times. He's been one of the bright lights for this blue side. Kadjia to Chan. Chan, was he fouled there? The referee says play on. Kizik. Chan's right back. Says, okay, I wasn't fouled there, but I'm going to win the ball right back smartly. Like to see that. When you're, when you're a manager, you like to see a, a player... Pick himself off off the turf and then re respond like that to win the ball back. That's a gamer in Chan there. Love to see that hustle. Love to see that determination. Might have been beaten the first time. Goes back and wins the ball. Fandozo. Pescod. Plays blown dead. We change teams. Sorry, I'm, the teams change. I'm mean, not changing teams, but the teams are changing over, making wholesale substitutions. We have new players on the pitch, and in fact, we're switching halves. That loss there, that was half time already. I thought the referee was blowing actually for a whistle. I didn't hear the, th the, the long whistle. Heard that as the short one for a stop, but we're going to go the other way with the orange side leading 3 nothing. Yes, you can tell this is the fourth game I've done in a row, and there's five more to go. And it's Chan with the ball. Going to play this through. I think it's Cameron looking on the outside for a run. Chan just not... He's just tenacious, Chan. Like there, there's, there's a, there, there, just look at him fight for the ball, fight for everything he has, fighting with De Kramer. Okay, he gets the foul there, but you just gotta love that. Just never say die attitude on Preston Chan. Just, just a player. You know, we talk about that old school mentality of getting stuck in. Well, he gets stuck in. Zahara heads that out smartly. We're in the second half. It's FDF showcase game. It is 3 0. The orange side. Team two. Really laying it down today. Chan heads that forward. And that was Lightheart in the battle. But it's one. Blue side with the, with the free kick. Looking for Beauperol on the far side. Doesn't come off to Kramer. He'll have a long try. We have new goalies in net. As we have new keepers as well. So in the second half, we have Charlie Topher for the blue side. And on the orange side, who is just there, you saw Aaron Napier, Napierala. Aaron Napierala in for the orange side, who just 
play the ball out. And Kizik might be trying to test him. But he plays it to Kramer. Doesn't come off. That's Claire. But oh, playing the ball long. He had options on the wing. Didn't quite come off. But that's Phobes playing it wide. And that's Ethan Jabs losing out there. Phobes with the ball. Phobes has scored one of the goals today. Getting it to Claire. To Chan. Chan, you can't miss him on the pitch. He's been just a dominant force out there. Ball coming through. And that's going to draw a corner kick, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it does. Looking for Douglas He's with that probing ball. But oh, Preston Chan's been mighty impressive today. And that looks like Cameron and Lightheart standing over the, the ball on the far side of the pitch with this corner. Ball swung in. Oh, it's not, it's not, not handled on the first touch, but if they do get it out, that blue side. But Dylan Phobes... Not giving up there. And a foul is given on to Kramer. So follow the orange side with another free kick and rein this in. Can they extend their lead even more? Is it up from 3-0? Phobes will be standing over it. Oh, referee wants that taken back a few. So again, we know that this with this football lines, but he's just going to play out to the side. I was about to say he's going to take it from 37 yards out. No, he won't. He'll just play that around. They go around the carousel. Zahara out to Kadia. Kadia takes this up the side and plays it back to the middle looking for Douglas. That doesn't come off. The ball comes out to Kizik. Kizik, heavy touch. So now it's Lightheart. You can always recognize Lightheart because Lightheart always looks like the pinny's about to fall off of him. There's Dylan Marple who got the ball back. And that was to the second half keeper there, Charlie Topher, who's in net for the blue side. Looking to play this wide. Dylan Marple, can he get something going? Ethan Jabs with the ball now. Jabs plays it. Kadia just catches that with his feet. Phobes, chance to turn it. And here's Preston Chan. It's been the man of the hour in this game. Played out wide. Kaji is mad at himself for playing that long, playing that heavy for the throw in. Believe it or not, it's getting a little bit brighter out there. Like, not overly bright. I'm not saying it's going to look like it's going to be a gorgeous day today. But it's uh, looking less and less like it might storm on us. Ball's played forward here on the free kick. Tried, oh, and it's caught, caught on the heels there. And that's Horolechko again. Trips Lightheart. Oh, that's a poor free kick taken sh short, too short, too quickly by Phobes. But they get it back. And Dylan Marple. Here's the, the throw, I believe it's Zavala coming in for Chan. Chan playing it back to Zahara. Warren's I just in control here, up three, up three. Just comfortable in possession. As I say that, they give the ball away. Marple trying to get that up, to, up top, trying to find Kizik. Kizik just looking for any kind of room, not finding it. Zahara just pushes him aside. Zahara bombs that ball down the wing looking to, just to get change play and Cameron there challenged off of it. That was Jacob LeBlanc wins that challenge. Now we turn it again. Oh, looking for Douglas. Douglas has got, he's got the wheels. He's got the touch. Keeper Topher comes out though. Douglas had the speed to get by. 
but just had to slide to get to that ball, and it was always going to be just a slight touch to get it in. Similar to his first half goal. Again, they're showing the threat, though, this orange side. Again, another chance. Another chance. Lightheart's going to take this corner. Phobes steps around. Was he fouled there? I think he was fouled, but the ref lets it play on. No, now, now the ref doesn't let it play on. Wanted to see if he wanted to play advantage. It was good refereeing, actually. The referee wanted to see if Phobes got around, got the advantage, and then once he saw that he wasn't, gave the free kick. There was a lot of jersey pulling. Two players. He could have called two blue defenders there on Phobes. Each of them had parts of his jersey. His light heart stands over the free kick. And we'll see where this gets placed. Looks... Looking like a back post, judging by where the orange players are lined up. No one really on the near post. This looks like it's going to swing to the back. In fact, he goes for goal and he scores. He floats it in. And it's four. Chase Lightheart, direct free kick that finds it. And I think this is where you, you get caught as a keeper. And I think Charlie Topfer... You can excuse him for that because you're thinking that that ball, I mean, I'm thinking that ball's going to get crossed into the far post. So you, you, you can't cheat on the shot so much. And when it floats in, you're not sure that's going to be on goal. And you have to react late to it because you're thinking, if I react to that, the player's going to come in off the, off, the, off the far post and head that home or get a piece of the body to it. And it's going to redirect that ball. And when it goes straight in, sometimes it's the most difficult play. I've seen that happen so many times in soccer where the, the keeper is, is ready for that touch and then it doesn't happen. And it's almost like it surprises them that it goes straight in. So I think Charlie Topher was a little bit late to get there to the light heart shot. But I think he's also watching, thinking that ball's going to be across. And it's, but in the end, it's 4-0. Teams are each going to play two games today, so going to their second game, there's going to be teams at entirely different mentalities going forward. Phobes cutting across. He's going to have a go. Topher with the save. That's, that's just confidence now. You see just oozing out of this orange team. Everything coming off for them. They're up by four. The result of this game isn't really in doubt. It's just a matter of how much and can... The blue side stopped the bleeding. There are the balls played out wide. A long, hopeful ball for Amaral Taleb, a name we haven't really called very much today. He just turns around. And Kadia is just going to go retrieve it. He's going to get roll the ball to Va. Va's going to take this, this throw. Phobes turning this around. Phobes on your goal scores today. Excuse me if I don't quite remember all the goal scores for Orange right now with four. Racked up. Lightheart though is one of the other goal scorers. He just scored in a free kick. Lightheart gets that out to Phobes. Preston Chan, another one of the goal scorers. Scored the first one this game. Rolls that out to Phobes. Phobes frustrated. Thought he realized he was wrong-footed Douglas with that, with that pass across. Douglas, the other goal scorer. So I do remember all four. Va playing that to, to Chan. He's just been dominant. But the orange side as a whole has been dominant. But Hara, ball out. Cut out. Kizik, but it's a bit of a lost cause. He's one on three. The ball's played back out to Kadia. To Phobes, turning this around. Chan's on a run. He doesn't pick him up. He'll go outside to Va, though Va's wide open. It's a good option. Va's got time to play back inside to Phobes. Phobes had a lot of the ball in this second half. Kadia 
Ball up the middle to Lightheart. Lightheart turns. Getting it out to Phobes. Phobes going to have a go. Topher with the save. Probably the, the easiest save that Topher's had to make in the second half. But really, the blue team's goal in both halves has been under siege by this orange side. It's been dominating. Kadja plays it back. And honestly, I have to look, look up at the goalie's name because I haven't called his name who's playing in that for the orange side in the second half, Napi Urala. It's at the level of dominance that the orange side has had. And now it's just the possession as well too. Zahara to Kadja. Kadja with a smart step inside there. Now that goes outside to Va. To Chan. Chan to Lightheart. Smart ball. Lightheart checks it up. Look to try to get by the defender. This time defender wins out. But Phobes is going to get there first. Can he get to get the second? No. Defender wins out. I think that was LeBlanc. And it's Va. Winning it to Claire. Claire. It's Chan. To Claire. Moving on the outside. And that's out to Cameron on the on the far side. Sliding it back in. Claire. Chan. Also his teammates were urging him to have a shot from there. Douglas looking back for Chan. Claire. Kadia. Phobes. You could almost have the Olays out if uh, there's a bigger orange fan base here because it's it's felt like about 20, 25 passes here. Lightheart. Chan. Another successful pass. These guys look like they played together for years. And now there's finally giveaway. I've, I've cursed it again. Kizik. But it's one back. And some applause there. El Uni wins it back. Let's count it. It's three. That's four to, to Chan. And that's five. Six. And now it starts again. Chan. Moving forward again. A nice ball through. Looking for Cameron. Just not going to check up on the turf. But why not try that? Just an absolute clinic being put on by this orange side. You know, to be fair, I haven't had a chance to call, I think, even some of the blue players' names. It's just that orange has had so much of the ball. It's just been... It been it not just in terms of, of, of having territorial domination but the possession has been so high as the ball's rolled out there and that is Sumit Kumar one of those names I haven't called yet hope to see more of these players and what they can do the second time they play but Lightheart throws in the middle Orlechko. This is Castro. Castro rolls that forward. Castro again. There's Pre Preston Chan to Castro. To Kedia. Who, him and, and Zahar have been absolute rocks in the back. Just controlling everything. Really good balls played forward. Aliuni. Chan to Castro. Kadja going to have a little bit of a run. Gets it out wide to, to Va. To Cameron. Why not have a shot? Cameron to Va. Back to Cameron. Is he going to have another chance for a shot? No, he's not going to get enough room. But he still wins the ball. He gets it out front. Pack defending. 
Fandozo. Kadia. Fando Fandozo's looking for that pass. Almost gets it there. Bo Peral gives it away. Fandozo. He's going to have a chance. Is he going to have a go? Is he oh, he tripped on the turf. The turf monster came up and got him. He has a little bit of a smile about that. Kizik runs out of room. Kadju. Zahar out to Zahara. To Kadju. To Va. It looks like Cameron out there making a simple turn. Looked out long. Tried to get that out to pa Pescod. Topher throws it out. And Dozo. Fred Baptiste is giving chase there. And ball goes into touch. This will be a throw in for El Hayuni. Zahara plays it back across to Kadia. Kadia to Castro. Castro to Va. Va tries to get to Cameron. Cameron turns it back to Castro. Smartly done here. Getting out of jail over and over. Like simple triangles, but it works. Fandozo. And again, you count the number of passes this orange team puts together. Kadia. Fandozo. Back to Kadia. It's Cameron. Va. That one falls to a for the blue player, but Fandozo wins it back. And it's Ray Cruz. Getting the first chance, first time called his name. For him from last year. Her ball played back by Zahara. Ball to Pescod. Pescod to Lightheart. Lightheart. Turning. Trying to play it through for Vendozo and Pescod. They're both running onto it. Neither get there. Or let's go to Boparol. Boparol, that's a great ball through. Does Blue get the consolation here? No, Kadja cuts it off. Chance there for Janasi. But doesn't come off. Kadja just such a big body. Gets over, takes away the space. But it's a great ball by Boparol. Oh, it's a grab there. But the referee says play on because it's an advantage. Pescod charging it up. 4-0 in this game. Korlechko got caught reaching there. Not run footed. Lehart to Castro. Castro's going to play that wide. I don't know if he's going to take that on or not. Cameron going to have a go. Cameron not enough power on that. Topfer's able to go over and collect it. And that's played to Kumar. Back to Topher. A bit of an odd one on the turf. Jabs. Can't get that as an odd one on the turf as well. Playing that out wide. It's number 140. Sorry, that was Adrian Tanasau. 
to Kumar. Ooh, back to Topher. Topher had to handle that quickly, had to think about it quickly. Lucite tries to turn this up, tries to create some, something going the other way. Got really cl close to the Janassi chance that Cadio was able to snuff out with a good defensive play. That's going to get over Vaz's head. And that's Ray Cruz. Ray Cruz, can he get around? Ray Cruz. It will step around one, step around two. And there's the shot blocked by Z Zaharia. El Hayuni just gets that out of trouble. Time for a couple more subs. Get laid into this. Ray Cruz has had some moments here in this last shift that he's been on. Had some real nice moments on that wing. Maybe some of the brightest moments for this blue team in what's otherwise been a fairly one-sided affair. We know right now there's only one team that's going to win this game. It's a matter of if there's any moments of individual brilliance left. Something to show off here at the showcase. Ball goes back to Topher. He's going to cycle that around. That's Tenacio. That's Jacob LeBlanc that got that ball up. Sorry about that, but El Hayuni chasing with Janassi. And it's El Hayuni who is going to throw this in, looking for Castro. And play switches up again. It's Claire throwing it in for Pescod. Oh, that's a good ball in from Claire. Sorry, it's from Fred Baptiste. Fred Baptiste sets Pescod through. Just can't quite get there. There's going to be a goal kick for Topfer. Too much time's left. This one. Played out wide. It's LeBlanc. Cut the smartly cuts that around. Out up on the wing. Looking for Ray Cruz. Ray Cruz loses out to Va. Throw comes in. And scream double team there. Try to help his teammate out. LeBlanc pushing the ball to Horolechko. Horolechko with his clever turn. Getting by Fandozo. Castro, but that's going to be it. As it finishes 4 0 to the orange side. Dominating win. Goals. Douglas. Chan. Douglas, I have to remember the goal scorers. Douglas, Chan, Lightheart, and Phobes in this game. Not necessarily in that order, but 4 0 after a three goal performance in the first half and getting a, another one in the second. Dominating performance by this Orange side. Looking forward to seeing them again a little later today. We'll take a short break and we'll be back. My name is Steven Sandor. I'll be back in about a few minutes with the next game in the showcase as we. Uh, Continue to go through a full day of soccer action here at the FTF Showcase. And we will see you in a few minutes.
And we're back here in Edmonton for another match in the showcase of the of for the FTF series here at Canada Showcase. And we have Team 3 and Team 4. And Team 3 is in blue. Sorry, it's Team 2 orange. Oh, sorry about that. I am mistaken again. Team 3, Team 4. We have Team 3 in blue, I believe. And we'll just make sure of this. Just, I will confirm a couple of things. We look to see the ball sprayed out wide there by the orange side. And we have 161 Jackie Hong with the ball. And that's played back. Played through, number 130. Oh, and that comes through, and it's difficult ball played out there. And that was Ad Ad Hirope Sandhu for Team Three. And it's just Team Four playing now. That's number 234. That's Janvier Samrao. Remember seeing him last year. And playing that ball out wide as the, now it's number 126 there. That is Keegan Ray in the back. Playing that ball out. Your keeper is Torin Rutherford for the blue team. There we have a whistle. Sorry for the pauses here. I'm just uh, getting the rosters here straight. We have a penalty kick here. I'm sorry, I just missed that here. So it's number 237 rolls that in past Rutherford. And we have Baja Safadi starts it off. Number 237. For the orange side, gives Team 4 an early 1-0 lead on the penalty kick. Rolled that right up the middle. Rutherford dove. Side, he says, nope, I'm going to go right up the middle with the, with the simple one. Side foot it. And there we go, an early, early lead for Team 4, which is this orange team. And we have the blue side spraying that wide. Looks like Jackie Hong. Back out there, number 200, Frank Roy Kane. Saw Frank Roy Kane last year, looked good. Frank Roy Kane's got the ball again. He falls, trips over the ball, but is he able to stay up on it? He does not. And that's played out. Cameron Lapierre with the throw to come in. We have the early penalty kick goal by Safadi. Give this orange side, Team 4, a 1-0 lead. Seems that orange is the lucky color today. I think uh, the orange teams have been doing, the teams that have got the orange pennies are the ones that are really succeeding today. Maybe it's a lucky thing. Maybe you want to be wearing the orange ones. Ball sprayed forward. And that was Duke Naylor. On the throw here, Adam Picconi. But no, he's going to give this up. Naylor's going to take the throw. Eight, 
Looking for Safadi, the goal scorer off the penalty kick. That was our first penalty kick in either the, the, the girls or the boys game so far. That was our first penalty goal. Oh, the ball's stolen. Oh, and Rutherford luckily doesn't have to move for himself on that, on that shot. But again, that's Ke Kevin Eldridge with the shot there on the steal and sliding to the middle. Blue team's got to get themselves sorted out here. Carter Anderson sliding that ball out to the keeper. Cool, he running that out. Ball well over Naylor's head. I believe that'll be Lapierre who's going to take this throw in. It is Lapierre. Frank Roy Kane. Back to Lapierre. Lapierre able to turn and gets that ball into the middle for, for Sandhu. Sandhu slides the ball well. A little give and go. Sandhu's still on the ball. Sandu's run out of room, or has he run out of room? Sandu's not run out of room. He's made some space for himself. Ball came back to Jackie Hong. Sandu. That's sort of wide to Kane. Good shot and a good save there by the keeper. The keeper there is Matteo Pagliuso for the blue team. Pagliuso in net. Rutherford in net on the orange side. That's a great shot. I just, just, just wide. So we had an answer there. Marcus Sperling with the shot just wide. I don't think the keeper would have got there if he would have got that inside the post. But... No point is that's lots of action early in this one between team three, the blue team, and team four. This is both teams' first action of the day. 1 0 to the orange side, and the early penalty kick by Baja Safadi. Sorry. And number 237, Baja Safadi with the goal. For the orange side from the spot. Rolled it home calmly. Right down the middle. Rather than trying to pick a corner. And had goalie Torn Rutherford diving. It's a terrible feeling as a keeper. When you realize off the foot. You've made the move. You've committed to, to guess one way. And that ball is going to roll oh so slowly down the middle. Sometimes I wonder if keepers just would be better just standing in place. So many guys try that now. Rolling the ball down the middle. Trying to outthink them. And say, all right, I'm just gonna stay put. You gotta beat me to the corners. I'll let you have that one on a penalty, but you're not gonna beat me down the middle. Sam out. Doesn't come up. Doesn't come up for him. Frank Roy Kane playing that ball through to Sandu. Oh, and that's just off the off the off the foot of Sperling. Great play by Sandu. He's looked strong early in this game for the blue side. And that's coming out wide to Ali Hamoui. Can't quite get there. We turn it around. Tafadi, the goal scorer, not, can't get to the ball. Blue team turns this around. That's Jackie Hong. Gets it back to Lapierre. Kane presenting himself out in the wing, saying, I'm here. And Kane gets it back. And Sandu, looking for Sperling, not going to come off. And that's just shepherded into touch. Likely will be a Hamoui with the, with the throw.
And we'll leave the throw in. Game's coming fast and furious today. This is the, the fifth game already of the day. We have a total of nine today, so just getting to the halfway mark of the day. Going to be test on the vocal cords. And it's well cut out by the defender there. Kane looking to challenge for that ball. Defender plays that back neatly. That was Michael Sadler. And that's Francis Adebayo. Ball comes back to defender there. Hornopoulos. Play it back to the keeper. And your keeper today is Paliuso for the orange side. Sandhu has been just all, all over the place. Oh, Sperling looked over the wrong shoulder there. Sandhu threw that ball up the middle and Sperling looked over the wrong shoulder. Didn't see it until too late. Blue team is really coming into it. You, they're down 1-0, but right now they're in a, a good spell. Sandhu. Jackie Hong. Ball spread wide. Are they going to find Kane? Yes, this will find Frank Roy Kane. Kane cuts inside. Sandhu. Sperling dies it. Sandhu again. Kane tried to get that play of 1 2 there with Sperling, but now it's Sandhu on it. Sandhu's trying to roll it past the defense. He gets it by again. Ball falls to him. He's trying to find a way through, trying to get it to Sperling, and it's just not going to quite happen. You feel it's close, though. You feel it's close to this blue side. They're down by one, but. They're, they're not reeling at all. They're back in it. And it's a penalty kick goal. And maybe you just feel like, yeah, we've got this. And get back into this one. It's an early goal they gave up. Still a lot of time to go. A lot to do. Kane steals the ball. Plays to Hong. Hong's going to get forward. Hong with a clever ball through to Sperling. Sperling, oh, just wide there. Paliuso would he have had it covered? I'm not sure. He dove. He couldn't be sure that was going to go wide. Sperling with a lot of chances here. He's had a lot of looks. Marcus Sperling. Number 82. The blue side has looked very, very good. Paliuso. That's Hong. Long ball played in by Lapierre. Defender getting it out of trouble. Long throw here by Paliuso. Lapierre heads it back. San Samurai. And that was New Naylor playing that up. A chance there. Played back to Rutherford who allowed the penalty kick goal early in the game but really hasn't been tested since. Hamouyu playing that out. Defenders playing that across now. And that'll be Samra who played that out. Now it's Naylor. Renopolis. Michael Sadler playing that out in the wing. He can't find any purchase there, but he's going to get a throw. Some changes coming in for the blue side. Sadler with the throw. Well, there's a shot from distance. 
Ball spilled out to Sam House. Sam House was able to, and was saved there by Rutherford. He was in good position there. Was, was, didn't have to move too much to catch that ball, but the ball spilled out to House, and House decided to have a go. But now you have Jackson Fuller playing that ball into the middle. A new, new set of players here. Matthew Lee's got it for the blue side. Some changes out there. As we said, you can sub on in and out in this game, in these games in the showcase. As you can see players coming in and out, playing different positions, showcasing themselves. Blue just made several changes to their lineup. Just now down 1-0. A little tug on the jersey. And the attacker's jersey, but he comes out. He's out with it. Ness Naylor playing it back. And here's your keeper, Paliuso. Going to play a long one up. Looks like Naylor has brought that down. Sam Rao wants that ball. And get there. So coming as Damakong. First Damakong was supposed to play in the first game, actually, but he's here for the team th team one in the or team three, and he'll play today. So that's Aloda Al Al Michael the Damakong number one eighty five. Smart ball played there by Stephen Wong, but Rutherford collects one nil to the orange side. The Damakong's going to get the ball on the wing. The Damakong wins it back. What's he got? He's going to try to change pace. Slow. Does win the ball. And there's that man of the hour, who's Sand, who has been maybe the blue team's best player so far in this game. But it's collected there. Cleaned up by Michael Sadler. Out to this keeper. Paliuso. Sam Rao is going to get that. He's going to turn that to Sadler. Sadler. Going to get back to Hernopolis. Hernopolis. Up to Naylor. Naylor. Ball turned over. Sand, who's got it? Sand, who's going to look for Ndamukong. Ndamukong. He's got, he got a chance here, but Sadler breaks that up. Coming back from the fullback position. It's a good one-on-one -on -one battle. Ndamukong's trying to hold his position. He's... Almost like intentionally working in slow motion. Almost slowing it down, asking the defender to go by him. It's a little bit, it's clever. Naylor tries to clear that ball through and it doesn't work out for him. Keegan Ray playing that ball through and that looks like Jackie Wong. Jackie Hong, I mean, sorry. Playing that through, Pal Yuso with the ball. Comes out and has played. And Sam House playing it long. A little bit of a swing there by the striker. He thought he had a chance there. Sam Rao. Seeing the keeper's out. The keeper is out of position. Keeper's way out of this goal. Orange had a chance there. If they, if they could have settled that down and maybe just fire one of the goal. There was a couple of defenders furiously running back after the keeper. Rutherford got caught out of goal trying to challenge the initial shooter there which was Adebayo, who had run up the middle on the initial chance. And Rutherford's momentum then took him past Adebayo, way out of the net. But no one on the orange team was able to get it. There's a, a good tut up by Tronopolis. Tronopolis has been reliable so far in the back. And gets that ball wide. Sandu. Ndamukong. Hornopolis just route one down the field. Get out of danger. Sandu wants to turn this around again. To Lee. Lee. Lee has a shot. He had Sandu running through the middle, though. And I think he, if he would have passed that ball up the middle, I think he would have had Sandu maybe running through. If he would have gone give and go, but he decided to go for the shot. And Paliuso with the easy collect. Hornopolis.
That's headed out. There he's easily collected by Naylor to Samrau. Samrau, and he handed the ball to Renopolis. Renopolis doesn't quite come off for Sam House. Sam House leaves that behind. And it comes across to Renopolis. Renopolis goes route one, looking for a long one as no one's there. Rutherford will just be able to claim that. Had a, trying to put the pressure on. Jackie Hong's got the ball. Plays that out wide to Sandhu. Sandhu looking up the middle, ambitiously looking for Hafez. It was Ahmed Hafez that he was looking for. Sadler looking for Adebayo. Damakong, he doesn't quite get the pass, and that's Sam Rao that plays it to Renopolis. Renopolis coming way up from his center back position to play there. It looks like they've done enough to create a corner. Let's see if they can increase their lead. It's 1 0 to the Orange team on an early first minute penalty. And we haven't had any scoring since. Baja Safadi rolled it home from the penalty spot really early in this match. Like very early. Like we were still trying to get the roster straight and kind of early. As you probably could tell. Sadler with the. The corner. Referee didn't like like did not like something. I think this is gonna be a retake. I don't think the referee something he didn't like, he's gonna make them do it again. So we have Sadler. He's gonna have another another bite at it. Not a lot in the box now. They're gonna all come running in now. And Sadler it's off the side of his foot there. Just got under it, got under it off the side of his foot, and he slipped a bit on this turf. The sun's coming out a little bit as it's starting to peek through this uh, what had been a, a very gray, overcast day, threatening rain, but not not going to rain. It's teasing us. And if you're not from Edmonton and watching this in in this city, we don't need to be teased with any more rain. We've had record rainfall through June and early parts of July. We are we're fine with rain. <laughs> I've lived in Alberta for quite a while and I've never had a, a rainy season quite like this. Vancouver's got nothing on us this year. Paliuso. And it was tried to barge through there was number 233, which was quite Kwais Haji. Had a bio trying to get by, but he's cut down. Oh, it was a good play there by Vlasuriev. Looking for a run. I think Nadamakon quite saw that coming off. And that's what happens. These guys don't always play together. And a real good play by Uriev. And Naylor. And there's Lee cutting off Naylor. Naylor another chance. No, he's going to throw that out. And Sadler again. He's had a lot of the, a lot of action there. Michael Sadler playing fullback. This is well done. Naylor gets ahead. Naylor battling, battling, battling. Ball comes to Adebayo. He rolls that out. He's looking for Naylor, but I don't think that Naylor was just getting up after a challenge and wasn't quite ready. to they salute each other. They knew it was kind of the right idea, just that it wasn't going to come off. Naylor was off balance after, after a challenge with the defender. Wasn't ready to jump back right in. Adebayo chasing this down. And there's a striker there. And that was Hafez. Paliuso, though, got to the ball first. And that looks like Samra who played the ball up. And this is halftime. Halftime, telling him to switch sides. 
So 1-0. Orange side at the half of this one. It has been a kind of a back and forth kind of game. Orange 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 got that really early penalty kick like like literally seconds into the game. They converted on it and and I'd say after that actually the the blue side the team 3 had some of the better chances. But it just didn't come off for them. And uh see how this the day goes, but this has been maybe the most competitive match so far that we've seen in either the boys or the girls section. Um, this one is, is feels like it's still anyone's match. You feel like you, you, you wouldn't bet against Blue getting that equalizer, but you also wouldn't bet against Orange get, getting another one. I'll tell you right now, possessionally, with possession though, that the Blue side's been a little bit better. And maybe you'd feel better about their chances to get back into it. But we'll see. So far, it's been Orange lucky in all these games that we've had so far. The Orange Penny is the one that you want to be wearing. So far in this series of the FTF Canada Showcase. And we have more games today. This is the fifth of nine total today. And there's going to be nine more tomorrow. I'll be right back with you tomorrow. Same time, same bat channel. That ball's picked off. It was Jackson Fuller intercepting that. There's Naylor. Not quite coming off. And as always, we're going to have new keepers. New keepers coming into this game. I believe that's Cade Hawkins who's playing for the blue team, but I'll have to double check and confirm that. And Palius looks like he's still in for the orange side. The ball played wide. Good interception there by Habib Al Alamiar. Adebayo throws that in. Alamiar heads that out. The Damakong. Looking for that as well. But Adebayo throws that in. Finds Naylor. Naylor. And that's Sam House. Gets that back. Oh, he was looking long there. Or Kevin Eldridge. That doesn't quite get there. And it's Heron Musa with the ball now. Sorry, it's Heron Musa. I misidentified him just a second ago. I apologize. With 102, not 103. Here's Nadama Kong. Oh, a clever cut in, but cut out by the defender. The ball falls out to the keeper. Now the keepers have changed. Maybe that one was not ready, because Pagliuso was started this half. And now we have a new keeper in. It was a little bit confusing because they were supposed to change and then and Palios stayed in and I, maybe the keeper wasn't ready yet, equipment wasn't ready. There's a shot fading away there by Carter Anderson. I haven't called his name yet. Carter Anderson with an attempt on goal. Young. Anderson now again. I call his name now a couple times in a row. Ball is played out wide. Running onto his half is. And his arms are all over the defender there. You got to give the free kick, and yesterday the free kick is coming. So it looks like Nicholas Tryon's back in net for the orange side. And here comes the free kick. I'm sure this will. They play this short. 
and try to try to play this one out, or is he just going to hammer it long, get it over? He's going to hammer this long. Better safe than sorry. Get that long. Got the one nil lead. Pull back to the keeper. And that is turned around to Rahil Dial. Sam House. Playing that out. Getting it wide onto the wing. Or this is a good break from the orange side. Here's your goal scorer. Taffity. Loses out. Now the blue side coming back up the pitch. Damakong. Too long, hopeful on that ball. Adebayo just shuffles that out. There's your keeper. I think that's trying in that. Yeah, it's trying on, on, on that. Trying is playing for the orange side. And Cade Hawkins, number two, in for the blue team in goal. Tebbs is a through ball there. The defense closes that down. There's a wall of orange right now. Hard for the blue side to get through that. Okay, try there for Naylor. Naylor can't get that ball. Walks away. Looks like this is Jackson Fuller with the throw. You heard a Damakong. Adebayo makes plays it out. I think that's Lee with one number 137. Now Sam House playing it back. Coming forward. Looking for that goal scorer, Safadi. Doesn't come off. Sam House again. Naylor. Naylor's going to try from distance. Oh, and he wasn't too far away. Kate Hawkins may have had that covered, but hey, that's still a pretty exciting strike. Try that from 35 yards out. Why not? Sails over the bar. And that's Dial playing the ball up. That's a good turn. That's Eldridge, I believe. Number 229. Getting that ball, looking to press on the defense. They're able to turn that around. Now there's lots of space, lots of space. What are they going to do with this? Is he's going to play it long. Looking for Spurling. Oh, to Damakong. Is he going to get down? Is it going to... Oh, and he just pounds the turf in frustration. He gets his foot out to chip it. And it was just a matter I didn't know if it was going to go in or go, go wider or go over from this angle. It looked awfully close. And <laughs> Damakong... Punches the turf in frustration, knowing that was the best chance. Blues had the had the better of the chances ever since Orange opened the scoring. They they've looked more likely to equalize than Orange has looked uh, to to extend that lead. But still, it's one nothing. And Damakong trying to control that can't. Adebayo is going to have the throw. Well headed out there by Heron Musa. It comes through. Oh, it's a great save. Nicholas Tryon comes out, takes away the chance. I think that comes off his shoulder, flies into the air. Quick ball through. It was Frank Roy Kane. I think he had a little touch. Sucker punched me, almost sucker punched the comment. Sucker sucker punched the orange team, almost sucker punched the commentator. But a good save. Now he'll have, try and have a chance to play that out, and she does to Eldridge. I think we're getting to the point where we're wondering, you know, soccer is not always a fair game, and it's, it's, it says it's about the number of goals you score, the number of chances you convert, but I think if you look at the number of chances, the, the possession, the blue team's actually been the stronger one over, over the 
first half and the, the beginning parts of the second half, yet they're down one nothing. Adama Kong, who's been impressive actually since he's come on, and he actually wasn't supposed to play for this team. He was supposed to play for Team 1 this morning, but was told before the start of this one that he'll be appearing for Team 3, which is the blue team. Doesn't matter. He's been impressive when he's been on the field. And that's, the, that's the important part. There's a free kick being taken. That was Menav Prasad with the, with the free kick. It's come out wide there. Chance there for Carter Anderson, but he just can't make that fall. That's Cade Hawkins rolling that out. New sets of players to the blue side. As this comes out, this is Habib al Mayar. And that's cut out that chance. And now it's Eldridge on the foot race. But that's one knocked out by Cameron Lapierre. Eldridge trying to find, looks like Sam House. And that's knocked away there. And it's Peter Yi who knocked that ball away. Duke Naylor on it. And that's Alamiar playing it back to Lapierre. Lapierre to Hawkins. Oh, that's not a good ball out. It's going to allow Anderson to get onto it. It's going to give a chance to Sam House to bend it. Oh, Sam House underneath the bar. And it's 2 0. And that's what happens. You have a giveaway deep in your own territory. And Sam House gets a shooting feet off from 25 yards out. Skims the underside of the bar. And it gets in. 2-0. The orange side. As the sun peeks out. And once again, is this the curse of the blue jersey? Here at uh, FTF Canada Showcase Day 1 here in Edmonton. You're a superstitious lot. You might, you might say, I don't want the blue, the blue pennies at all. And I am superstitious about these sorts of things. If I was, if I was out there, not that I ever would be, I would be. Oh, that's a, that's a foul. And I think he would have been away there. That was a foul by Prasad. He lost control there, and we'll see what's 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 called here. You don't want to be sending players off in a in a showcase, but that was a clear professional foul. And had we be at a in the professional ranks, that would be a. That would be a card you'd be looking at, and we don't know what color that card would be. Lost, lost possession. Sperling would have been gone. In on goal alone. Instead, Blue will hit a free kick. And Hafez stands over it, but it's Sandhu who takes it. And there's the shot. Came from Peter Yi. Handled there by Tryon. He with the left foot. Had to go. Eldridge. Great, great ball. Is he going to find his man? Yes, he does. Going away, from, going away from the play a bit there. It's Carter Anderson. Anderson gets it back. He's got, he's got help. He's got Naylor. Oh, Naylor, oh, ball off the head of Lapierre. You don't know where that's going to go, off the deflection. It's going to go for a corner. That's where it's going to go. But he had no idea. Like, sometimes you think, where is that going to fall? Where is it not going to fall? Definitely. Fell into a good spot. This orange, the orange side makes some wholesale changes here. So big changes made. Again, we're going to see changes on being made during the game. In and out. The players come in. 2-0 for this orange side. A penalty goal from Baja Safadi in the first. 
And then a heck of a strike from Sam House in the second half. Make it 2-0. Okay. Blue beaten to it, but the ball was headed over. It was the center back there who just came into the game. That was number two, 231. That was Adam Pacconi, who was first two. And there's a giveaway. Blue being just far too casual now in their own their own half. Got to tighten that up. Can't down two already. You need to be putting pressure the other way. And they had put pressure the other way, but it just hasn't come off for them. And you wonder what would have happened or what would have come had Ndamukong's chipped effort over the keeper not gone just inches either just outside the, the goal. When it was 1-0 and that would have tied things up at 1. Oh, is he offside or is he on? He wasn't sure there with number 98. Stephen Wong, if he was on or off. Doesn't matter with blue winning possession. Now the throw-in is given up. And that will be Jasmine Samra with the throw. Ball back to Eric Zhang. Zhang into house. Scored a great goal. Maybe the best goal of the day. Hard to say if we had an award winner. Maybe Sam Host right now would be the, the leading candidate of goal of the day for FDF Canada with that second goal for Team Orange in this half. Sandu. Sperling. Great turn. Oh, and Sperling. It's just been the story of Blue's day, hasn't it? For Team 3. Shots that are just going wide. Shots just off the mark. Unfortunately in soccer, it doesn't matter if you miss by 6 inches or 60 feet. The result's going to be the same. A goal kick. There is no award for close. Zhang. They ball the house. Sandu takes this. He's been very lively when he's played for Kane. Getting that ball out wide. When he's been in for blue, Sandu's been their, been their best player, I think, overall in this game. Really like what Sam House has brought to the orange team in this game. Not only scoring the goal, but he's been very, very active sort of in the middle of the park in that attacking slot in the hole behind the, behind the strikers. We see House now. Bit of head tennis going on. Ball settled down as Carter Anderson to House. And there's a great ball through. Looking for Wong. Just can't quite get there. Lapierre plays that out. And that's Dial, Rahil Dial, playing that out wide. Sandhu trying to turn, trying to create something, trying to find Frank Roy Kane. He has found Frank Roy Kane. Frank Roy Kane's by one defender. Can't quite make it work. And that was Pacconi. But Sandhu wins it back. Sandhu, can he find something? He just can't. He's running so hard to his to to the to the right. He tries to. Just to get that shot on goal, he has to sort of stop himself and he can't put any sort of purchase on the shot. He would need to fool everyone and roll that other side, but he just couldn't get any sort of strength or power on that effort. Here we have Dial playing that ball up. Sandu again. Trying to get that out to the wing. Piconi cuts that out. It's played out again. Going out towards the right side now. The near side. Zhang just gets enough. To disturb that play. Referee stops play for a second so he can... Well, there's subs coming on too. But I was about to say the referee stopped play to tie his shoe, but he's going to have some subs come on as well. So. And 
And here we have the throw being taken. Slow changes coming in. And this is Heron Musa. Eldridge playing the ball to Naylor. Naylor trying to spring Eldridge. And some desperate defending there to get that ball out of trouble. Well, that ball's was thrown into touch. Moose is going to have a throw now. Tries to find Hamoui. Musa playing it down back to Keegan Ray. Keegan Ray. That was Vazuriev. Try to get to Sandhu. There's Naylor, but that's given away to Musa. What's Musa? Can, what can he do here? Musa turns it wide, trying to find Jackie. Jackie Ong. And there's Eldridge playing it. And Stephen Wong cutting in. Stephen Wong looking near post. Not enough purchase on the shot, but the right idea. Getting to a good spot. Kate Hawkins able to get over and make that play. Oh, and there's the kick. Doesn't get quite the distance on it that he might have wanted to, but it works out for him. Sandu trying to switch it up. Cut out by Naylor. Naylor looking for Wong. Oh, did that go off a hand? But no, the referee lets a play on. Eldritch. And Safady scored the opener off from the penalty spot. Keeper Hawkins coming in off his line to collect. Smartly does that. Gives himself plenty of time to get that out to Vlazuriev. Out to Musa. Musa looking for Sandu. Sandu's going to have a run. Sorry, that's Hamui. Hamui going to have the run. And Hamui gets it into the hands, but it's easily handled. As I said, he puts it into the hands of trying. Oh, there's the kick out is blocked. I think that's Frank Roy Kane with the block. Trying to play Jackie Hong through. Oh, and battle one there, Safadi. But then, good comeback by the defender. Sandhu. Able to turn that ball, finding Kane in space. But Kane can't beat the defender. It's not quite coming off for the blue team. It's a matter of inches in a lot of cases. A lot of little step overs that aren't quite working. Shots that just go just wide. Just things are just a couple of inches off. You feel it runs there just a little bit short. And Orange side's taking advantage of a goal from this penalty spot and then a goal from 35 yards out from Sam House. That kissed the underside of the, of the crossbar. And there's a ball played the far post. And Musa's just squeezed out. Couldn't really get to the ball. And that'll allow Tryon to... Get this one out. We're into the, the final moments, the final stages of the second half here. 2-0 to this orange side. Tryon. Take the goal kick. Eldritch rolls that over. He's going to get the ball back. Well, head it over. It's Renopolis. He's going to play that back to his keeper. Nice and calm, slowing it down. Trying. Ball pops out again. Now Blue settles us down. 
there we have Musa. Hernopolis though cuts that out. Hernopolis, Zhang, trying. Looking to find Wong. Wong runs, but he can't get there. Uriev. Oh, and there's Sandhu. Hmm. Sandhu getting a couple of teammates saying, got, got to move that ball, but he does win the free kick. He plays that out to Habib Almiar, and Almiar wins a free kick, so it just gets a little closer. And this one I think Musa is going to take. Will Musa go for goal from here? Or would will he try to swing this in? We've seen a goal scored already earlier today where swung it directly in and it went in. Keeper couldn't try and get up through this one. And that will be the game. 2-0. And it was the last action of the game that free kick from Musa. But 2-0 to the orange side. A goal from Baja Safadi from the penalty spot. Seconds into the game. And then a second half strike from 35 yards from Sam House to make it 2-0. And that's that's what she'll ha that's what that's all she'll ro she wrote here from Edmonton. Well, I, sh I mean for now, because we have four more games coming up, and uh, we're here at the FTF Canada Showcase Day One, Day One of Two here at Mill Woods Park. Come down, say hi. Say want to watch some some soccer, spend the afternoon. Hey, the sun's coming out. It actually looks like it might not be a bad day. But uh, well, we'll be back in a few minutes. My name is Steven Sandor, and we'll be back in a few minutes with the next game in our series.
Okay, we're back. Game six of the day, I believe. Team five <clears throat> in the blue against team six. Who are in the orange. And so far, orange has been the, the color to be in. So, I mean, if you're just basing this off of the penny color, you'd say orange is the favorite. Because so far the the orange teams, or the team, or the teams that have worn the orange pennies, because they do switch depending on who plays who, uh, have been the ones that have come out on top. So it seems to be that's the that's the one to wear as Team Five in blue gets us started off, and that was Emmanuel Joseph taking the kickoff. But right away, team, it's a chance there for Team Six, and that was Jack Ferraro. Hammering shot that was blocked out and over the net. But I haven't even had a chance to introduce the keepers yet. Connor, Connor Short is in goal for the blue team. And Charlie Topfer returns and he's playing in net for the orange side. I see these keepers kind of cycle through, playing for different teams, different times. Goals played out wide by the orange side after the corner kick is cut out. Oh, and that's a that's a good cut out by, by the attacker. But then the defender plays that up. We'll get to get to the names as we get used to the, these new rosters. And that was James Laurie playing that ball into the middle. James Laurie still chasing it. And that comes out to Sergio Medina. Sergio Medina Jr., that is. Played across the top. Now, Christopher Gold with the ball. And obviously, if I see Christopher Gold once, I'm not going to miss him again because he's got that shock of dyed red and... Is it pink and white or red and white hair, or purple and white? It's pretty awesome. And I mean, if anyone here is participating in this combine is watching this, go home if you want to change your, your hairstyle because you got work to do because he's won hairstyle of the tournament. There we, there's a chance there. Kyle Wolf hitting that wide. It's Topher. We'll take this one. Excuse me there. Again, Steven Sandor with you. FTF Canada Showcase. Gould cuts out that ball. Loses it. Wolf has a chance. As well, we had a second player on that, which was... The second player on that was Alud Wolo de Johannes. And I'm sorry if I didn't quite make that name go through. <laughs> okay, Jack Ferraro chasing the ball there. Looking, trying to chase Connor Short down in net. Oh, ball caught in the defender's feet. That was Tristan Romero got that little bit caught in the feet there. S ball sticks. The terrible feeling when he gets caught. And there's a good turn here. That is Alud Woldo Yanis. And that ball sprayed out wide to Christian Clark. And that ball gets back. And it's a big mistake. And it <laughs> ends up in goal. <laughs> it's an error. The goal's going to go there, I think, to the striker there. But it was a, a mix up between Clark sending the ball back and his keeper. Connor Short. I believe. I believe that was Nicholas Ruiz. 
ended up getting the goal. Or, but it was a mistake. And once again, it does look like it's orange side lucky because it's 1-0 for the, or the orange team, which is team six. And playing up is the Alan Sitchett. He's coming up from the fullback position. He's pretty aggressive. I notice he's coming up quite a bit. And again, these players don't always play together. And I think that was a, that was a mix up there between fullback and, and, and keeper that leads to a very odd opening goal. One team keeps settling it down. It's Alan Sofo playing it back. And now on the attack is Alexander Wannis. Wannis playing it in the middle. And that's Jack Ferraro. And that's blocked down. One nil orange side early in the first. Mistake. Mix up leading to the goal. This is Christian Clark playing that in. Tristan Romero trying to play a long ball through. Defended well. Good turn. Now play back to the keeper, which keeper, which is Topfer. I almost said keeper because I was talking about Topfer. But Nicholas Ruiz playing that ball up through to Gould. There's a chance. The forward get through. Can he stay strong? No, the defenders squeeze him out. And that was Dylan Wiley who tried to buckle, buckle, swashbuckle his way through two defenders but wasn't quite going to happen for him. Ruiz now. Hits that ball up the wing. Clark pushes away the attacker there. It was James Laurie. Clark and his keeper, Connor Short. Still trying to maybe work out some details or, or, or try to get past the error that led to the opening goal of the game. You just got to put it past you. You got to focus on what's ahead. You can't dwell on what, what's happened. Leave that to us in the media to dwell on what's happened. That's our job. Players, you got to look forward. And that was Sitchett who tried to make the run up the, up the wing. And here's a ball played up for Ferraro. And that's cut away by the defender there, Tristan Romero. And it looks like it's going to be a throw in here for Ruiz. 1-0 to the orange side. Free kick coming in. It looks like Ruiz is on it. Well charged over. Ben Gingra. Getting that ball back. Now hammering it forward. That's, that's No one's going to be able to get that. So that plays in. It'll be a goal kick, goal kick for uh, Connor Short. Short, hammering it through. We have play forward there by Juan, by Juanis. 
And that's Jose David Castaneda playing that ball through. And that looks like Alan Sofo is going to have the throw in here. Headed down. Sofo. Plays that ball up to Kyle Wolf. Kyle Wolf trying to get that through. Looking there. It was Dylan Wiley. Just couldn't quite make it off. Ruiz will get at this for a throw in. Ruiz. Up in the air by Medina. Ferraro to Ruiz. Medina. Medina trying to find Ferraro. Cut away by the defender. It's turned to an absolutely lovely day for, for soccer. A little bit overcast, sun peeking through. Not too warm. Wannis. Wannis and now Gould getting a little bit caught up there. Ruiz loses out there. It's one back by Medina. Medina will play it all the way back to his keeper. And that's Topher. There's Ferraro. Out to Ruiz. Ruiz. Long ball up the, the wing. That's going to be tracked down. That looked like Raheem Kassam with it with the, with the with the track down. Wiley gets that out. Easy bounce there though for Wanis. Wanis will have time. He just plays it back to Topher. Topher has time as well. Where's he gonna go? He's gonna go out to the wing. Fullback's got got time as well. Blue team not really pressing very hard. Letting the letting the orange side have the ball in their half. Gould will go back. And, just and then Keeper there tries to spray that out onto the wing. That was Topher. That's cut out. But the orange side retains possession. We'll see if Blue tries to turn up the pressure a little bit or if they still will be happy to let the orange side's back line have the ball where it's at. And sooner or later, with the score being what it is, you'll have to turn up the pressure. It's probably too early yet, being down only 1-0 and being in the first half, but at some point you have to ratchet it up. Some changes being made, a uh, change here for Orange. Said players coming in and out. We're at the FTF Canada Showcase here in Edmonton. My name's Steven Sandor, and we have a break here. He sticks with the ball. Good job by the attacker. Still with it, and he has a shot. Short gets to it. It almost, it almost went off of him and kind of, he had to collect himself to reach behind it and make sure that ball didn't go over. But why not have that chance? Took a shot short side, see if he could, saw if he could fool Connor Short. Almost did. Gould got caught in maybe two mines there. That'll be the Gould kick. There, you know, you have your, your, your attacker there. Who, uh, who got that shot off. And I believe that was, Medi that was Medina who got that shot off on the other side. But Medina's been limping since he, he got that shot off. He looks like he's not super comfortable out there. Just getting back now. and wonder if he was, we'll see if he stays on. Now he looks fine. Playing that wide to Ferraro. Ferraro tried to back heel. Clark was equal to that play. Ferraro tried to back. He'll try to get an advantage. Oh, the ball's played well back to Ross Van Royen. And out to Topher. 1-0 to the orange side. First half. Team 5 versus Team 6. The third game of the boys series. Sixth game overall here at FTF Canada, the showcase. We're here in Edmonton.
you spend the entire day watching soccer, and it's probably not a better way to spend a day, really, if you ask me, other than maybe playing soccer, because I think that's even, maybe even a better way to do it, but spending a great day with the game. There's a turn. Good, good ball played out to the midfielder. But the orange side steals the ball, making the move, trying to go up that right wing. They can't get make any purchase on it, and slowing it down. We are. That's Joel Jaravada playing the ball out to the, the wide areas. Ball swung in. Oh, we had a player fall down. I think another when the turf monster got on the cross. And now this is going to get out, get out to the wide areas. And that's Joshua Castillo. Free kick given against the blue side. Orange side is going to have chance going forward. Well, in fact, they take it backwards. I prove a point there. So Ruiz played it back to the defender. Might not have been the best decision. Because now Blue's on the, on the run there. It was Diego Manrique who had to hustle back after the ball was played back to him by Ruiz. And then the ball got turned over. It looks like Alan Safo with the throw in. And here's a chance. Cutting across, and that's tied. We're tied at one. You can see off the foot that the only thing that was going to go with place was, was going to go in was in. And that's Malik Darby. Malik Darby with a great goal. And it's 1-1. One, one. Cuts across the top of the box, going to his right. And as soon as he slid to shoot against the grain behind the keeper, you knew it was off the foot. You knew that was in. There was nothing that was going to stop that. Great play to go against the grain with his shot and to adjust his body. And you saw he had to go to ground to do it. But some great individual skill. That's a lot tougher than it might look, folks. To be able to run in one direction and shoot against the direction in which you're running. And he did that. Cutting across the top of the box. Darby. And then sliding it back against the grain. Tying this at one. And game on. Maybe this... This curse of the, the blue penny is lifted. Maybe that's the goal that does it. There's a great diving, diving attempt by Manrique to break up a play. I wonder if Blue's got some extra energy now, the blue side getting that goal. Really great effort there by Malik Darby. Now comes another chance. They're claiming corner. Refer blue side's claiming corner. Referee says, nope. Last touch is off blue. And it'll be a goal kick. And that will leave. Sorry, that's... That'll leave Charlie Topher. Long run back through the end zone. All the way to the fence to get the ball. You know, when you play men's league, that's that's a strategy you do when you sh shut down the game and you're tired, just kick it into someone's yard or kick it way out of the field that someone has to go get it and you get a breather. And I say that and he has to go get another one. Topher's put in some put in some mileage there retrieving balls in the last minute. That's like that's like twenty five yards each way, folks. Not that a soccer player should be worried about the fitness on such situations like that. A commentator like me might be. Here we have Team 
six there, James Laurie playing the ball. Manrique gave that away. Now Blue turns that over. Alan Safo. He's got options behind if he needs it, and he does use it. He does use it. And here we have on the near wing, we have we have Shamarki Bablitz. It's the first time I've called his name today. Castillo on, can't get to the ball there. And that's Laurie playing that into the middle. Laurie gets the ball back, rolls it into the path of the attacker. Oh, gets it back. What? There's still the chance, still alive. Back to number 106 there, which is... And we're not sure who that is, according to the roster. But there we have Castillo playing that out. Bablitz. Back to Castillo. Castillo moving forward. Tries to play that through. It's headed out smartly. They were inside playing that out. Bablitz is going to cut that off, though. Alan Safo plays that to Romero. It's Bablitz. And that was Adu Hannes. Right, that is out. Goes just wide. Chance goes begging. Still 1-1. One, one. The ball hit wide to Ross Van Ruyen. Ruiz. That's Medina. Gets it back to the keeper, Topher. He's going to play that long. That was Raheem Kassim who couldn't make control of the ball, but now Blue on the other chance. It's number 211 with the shot, and he scores, and it's 2-1 to the, to the Blue side. Malik Darby with his second. He's put his stamp on this game for sure. Bringing his team from 1-0 down to 2-1 up, and maybe that curse of the orange or, or the blue penny is truly broken. Maybe it took Malik Darby to wave his magic wand and say, enough of this with the blue teams always losing. Darby, he did it with touch with his first goal, cutting against the grain and rolling that pass. And the second goal, he hits with power. And he's got two. See Medina playing that back. Fullback coming out, looking for help. That was Okiki. Played that back to the keeper. It was Ugo Chukwo Okiki who played that back. And that's Raheem Kassam with the ball now. He forced back. Sending that back to Charlie Topher. It is 2-1 to one for the blue side. And that ball heads out to Ruiz. Ruiz see if he gets his team back. And to be fair, the blue team's goal, the orange team's goal they created, they didn't really create. It was, it was, a gifted, it was gifted to them by a, a mix-up. But that's what a good team does. They, they make a mistake like that to give up a goal and they can recover from it. And that's, that's what this blue team has done as a great run forward. Oh, what a shot. What a finish. Oh, that's one for the top shelf. That's number 188. 
for the blue side. Number 188. I am looking for his corresponding spot in the roster, but we don't have one. So I'm just going to have to figure this out that it might be 199 who is supposed to be there. He's not there. But what a shot that was. And he's won the ball again. And I am, I am saying that that is likely Joseph Odiabala. He's a name I haven't called yet. And it would correspond. Joseph Odiabala with the goal. As Castillo plays that in. It's 3-1 to one for the blue side. But boy, have the goals been crackers on the blue side. Halftime strikes. And what a goal that was. Apologize there for the number mix-up. But I do believe that... Uh, what we have is number 199 in the roster is actually number 188. And I believe that's Joseph Odebiala, who is the goal scorer. And it was a wonderful goal. Hammered home. I'm sure the keepers will want to switch off because it's been a bit of an offensive show here. So we want to quickly switch sides. 3-1 to the blue side. And now we have a 3-1 game. The ball's played out. We have new keepers into the game now. It's uh, Torin Rutherford who will be playing for the for the blue team. So he's on the other side. The orange team, that's that's Aaron Napierala who just played the ball out. 3-1 to the blue side. And here we have a run by Malik Darby. Malik Darby scored two so far in this one. He's won a corner kick. And the free kick will be taken by Dominic Despre. Despre. Ball's cut out there. Bablitz able to play that all the way back to, to Tristan Romero. Romero, free kick given against the blue side. And that was Kassim who played it back. That was Odebiala trying to make it happen. Bablitz going to get a throw. Or is he going to throw it in for Castillo? Castillo's got that to Bablitz. Cut out by the orange. We're in game three of, of six on the boys' schedule today at the FTF Canada Showcase. Ball's played through the middle. Probing ball. They're searching for Xavier Hanif there. Can't quite make it. But again, the blue team probing, looking maybe for that fourth goal. I want to call this to be the, the, the score line it was, maybe 10 minutes into the first half. The blue team looked rather unsettled, but a couple of just some, some great offensive individual efforts. And boy, two goal performance from Malik Darby. And we're not done yet, so who knows what the game holds for him. Castillo gets that out wide to Bablitz. Bablitz down the right wing. Forces his way through. He's still through. What a Biala. And just shuff shuffled out. A little bit of desperation there. 
Manuel Joseph plays that forward. This orange side takes a bit of a breather. Napriola with a chance to play this out. Gets to his target. Went through a bit of a gauntlet before it got to the target. And just pushed out. This will be Christian Clark's attempt. Throwing this in. He's got Dupre close. Also has an option, Adel Ismail on defense. Orange is making a couple of subs, bringing in some players. Trying to change things up. Trying to change the look. Ball's played out into touch. Safety first from Diego Manrique. Throw in coming in from Dominic Despre. Or Despre. Throw in Ferraro. Depre takes that away, but he's won back by the orange side. Ferraro's got the ball. Clark comes out to challenge. A bit of a 50-50 ball. Referee says it's going to be Blue's throw. He's going to give that to Clark. Clark throws that deep. And that's a good turn by our two-goal man. Cuts that across the front of the goal. Oh, it was an inviting ball. It was a good ball. See nothing but good things so far from Malik Darby. That was a good ball. Ball is played out wide. Trying to get some possession, trying to settle this game down a little bit. Down by three to one. Still time left that they can make a dent into this, but it's going to have to come fast. They have time, but not much time in the sense of they got to get this to 3 2 and then maybe make a push at the end, but the longer and longer this goes. Oh, a little bit of misplay by Napier Alala. He's got to play that out quickly, and he's giving that away. And there's Bal. There's your man, Malik Darby. There's Joseph playing the ball out wide. Why not have a shot there? Adel Ismail comes up from the holding midfield spot, and... Has a go. He has a has a free look and tries to test Napriola. Doesn't succeed, but it's another good shot. Romero handles. Gets the ball out to a wide spot there. That was Castillo. And here's a chance. He's in alone. Oh, and he comes out. The keeper there. And that was Torin Rutherford does so well. It just comes out. We had a striker there who did everything right in terms of getting into the scoring position, but then waits too long. Waits too long to, to take that chance. And basically, Torin Rutherford snatches the ball off his feet. And it looks like the striker is asking for a substitution too, who's... Uh, who was there. But he was in alone. He danced around the defender. He danced around Romero in the, in the blue defense. But then he got caught. And that was Hanif Amusat. Just got caught. He had all the chance in the world to, to put that away. And just, I think he got caught in two minds just thinking about where he's going to put that ball and ends up allowing Torn Rutherford to draw to to grab that ball right off his foot. 
Great keeping by Rutherford, though. You have to be decisive. You make the first move. Make the, make the forward react to what you do. Don't wait for him to beat you. If you, come, if you come out like that, take away the angle, and he can touch it by you, fine. Or he can chip it over you, fine. But make that, make, force him into a, a touch or a heavy touch. Now we have changes coming in, both teams. Some subs coming in. As I said, we switch on the fly here. We're here, the FTF Canada Showcase here in Edmonton, Mill Woods. South Edmonton. Let's keep her here, which is... Torn Rutherford for the blue team. Gets that ball out. Ball's played down the wing. They move it to the middle. And now it's a chance for the orange side to turn with Jack Ferraro. Plays that ball out. The forward position. Good ball nudged forward by. Was nudged forward by Juanis. Now it's cut forward. That looked like. Is that Ruiz coming forward? Yes, it was. Join the attack. Now some pressure from the orange side. Trying to get up there. Where we tried something spectacular there to try to juggle that ball up to himself. So it was Joel Jaravada. I'm sorry, that wasn't Ruiz, number 214. Joel Jaravada tried something a little spectacular, juggling that ball up to himself. And there's Depre coming down the his left side. Does he have any help? No. Jaravada is able to cut that out. Jaravada playing it up to Jack Ferraro. Jack Ferraro waiting, waiting. Playing the smart ball into the midfield. And we have Castaneda coming forward and just hammered out by the defense. That was Clark, who's moved to a central position after being on the fullback side. Again, talking about versatility. Players who are going to move around when they sub. They aren't always going to play in the same spot. And here's Hanif Amusat. Thought before he was asking for a sub, but he stayed on. And that ball's turned over. As Ferraro and Hamasat have a two-on-one, but Clark does well. Ferraro just had a heavy touch and showed too much of the ball to Clark. And Clark said, thank you very much. I'll just get that out of danger. Again, just, sometimes just a touch off here. Oh, that's a great cut. And there's a goal. It rolls underneath the keeper. And, And a great effort there to make it 3-2. to two. We have a game here. Torrin Rutherford, I think, gets caught a little bit. Dove over the ball. Maybe got a little bit fooled by the pace, but still a great shot into the corner. That Ian Sanford with the, with the goal. I believe that's who it is. Yeah, it's a... Yeah, Ian Sanford scoring for the orange side. Sanford with a lovely little roll of the ball into the corner. Rutherford dives over it, and it gets underneath. And it's 3-2, and game on. Why not come back? So you're always most vulnerable when you scored. I've heard that a few times. My old FC Edmonton uh, broadcast partner, Gareth Hampshire, used to say that all the time. And this is just a great run. That was Juanis with the run. Getting that ball forward. Is that going to be a corner? Boy, we have a, we have a chance here to see if there, there's an equalizer afoot. 
3-2. This might be the most engaging game so far of the series we've seen. Five goal thriller. Blue team on the right side of the score. But could this become a six goal thriller? Oh, we're gonna have another another corner. We're gonna do this again. It looks like Raheem Kassam is gonna be taking this. Sanford, who just scores at the top of the box. Keep an eye on him. Oh, and he gets the first touch. And it's there. There's the goal. It's, we're tied. Castaneda, number 48. Finished that after some, some volleys in the box. And what a comeback this has been. Two goals in maybe the span of a couple of minutes. We're tied at three. And we're... Since the last uh, string of substitutions, Orange has switched some personnel. The game's really come to life. Casting at the far post, able to collect that ball. You knew as soon as it was falling to him, it was going in. There was no other way that could, could go but into the net. So, we're all even. A game that looked like it might have been out of touch. It's a goal kick here. Napirala. There's Joseph with the ball, holding on. Bablitz throws it long. He's looking there, there's a foul given. He's looking for Kyle Wolf. And we'll see. I said, is this going to be a six-goal thriller? It is right now, 3-3. Three, three. Is it a seven-goal thriller? Who's going to be on this free kick? There's a little bit of committee here. Foul is called on Wolf. I mean, on the, as Wolf was trying to get that cross. And Wolf is maybe the one saying, hey, I, I was the one fouled. I should be the one taking it. And that's what it looks like. Wolf is the only one lined up over it right now. It looks like they're not trying to fool anyone here, trying to get forward. I like this. I don't like it when three people stand over a free kick. I... I think it's just a waste of a couple of players. That's just a personal opinion. Wolf's going to have a go. Oh, and he gets it on, and he was... Napriel does well, gets behind that shot. He hit it with power, he hit it low. Looking maybe see if he... I think in that case, if he just overwhelm the keeper, maybe get a bounce. Maybe see it spill through the keeper. But there was a chance, and now we go the other way. This is Jack Ferraro. Sliding that back to Castle. Oh, and that's just over. That didn't hit the bar. That actually hit the uh, bottom side of the football upright. That hit the, the bottom uh, football bar. But we're going back and forth. Who's going to win this game? You have a chance that we'll have a chance. And now it's, now it's the blue side going down the field. So Odibiala, he scored. Scored a great goal. It looked like the one that was going to be the insurance goal for a 3-1 lead. But things have mightily changed in this game. It is now 3-3. And neither team looks like, hey, we're good with a, with a draw here. We're, both teams are saying, hey, there's more goals in it. Let's go get that one that's going to win us the game. Oh, there's a great run. Cutting across. Oh, my. Oh, my. That's Malik Darby's hat trick. And oh, what, what a run to the top of the box. And it's four to three. Can we have these two teams just play for 90 minutes or two hours? Because this, is, this has been a delight to watch. Malik Darby. I'm not, I'm not sure which of his three goals is the best one. Like it's, you know, a lot of times a guy gets a hat trick and you think, okay, there's the one goal that really stands out of the three. There, but there, was, there are three thunderous goals. I mean, the first one was, was a placement goal. I mean, thunderous in the sense of just the moment and, 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 and the skill that he has shown. But he has hammered home the last two. And that one, after, after a hell of a run, coming in from the left side. And now is another chance. And now Wolf's feeling it. Why not have a go? 
4-3 to the blue side. What a game this has been. Malik Darby. Look out. Look out, world. I know who you are now. And people on the stream know who you are now, too. But we're not, it's not over yet. And this, the, who knows what other twists this game has as the orange side looks for, for a rush. Rutherford collects the ball, plays that out wide. And now the orange team presses for that equalizer. Why not try to tie it again? They were down two, came back to make it 3-3. Three, three. Now they're down 4-3. Is there more in this game? Juanis tried to push forward, couldn't get there. Now we have Odi Biala. Oh, he's brought down. Is it a foul? Him and Gould came together. I think the official says no, but I think they're saying this is a corner. Corner. I don't think Malik Darby could get a fourth. But I wouldn't bet against it either. I certainly wouldn't put any money in my wallet against Malik Darby getting a fourth the way he's feeling today. Some time being taken to get this corner in. Some changes being made. I think this is probably the last group of changes before we're done here in this game. Not done for the day. We have three more games to go. Ball comes in. Napierola secures it. Plays that long, look for a touch. Doesn't get it, Tolan Rutherford's gonna get it. His foot. Keepers probably need to take a breath with what's happened around them. Romero plays that to the wide spot as he, Wolf gets there first, does well. Gets it, Joseph. Joseph plays that back. That's a good turn there. That was Alad Wadi Hannes with that turn and move. And he's going to get the ball back now. He's going to play that wide to Bablitz. Bablitz being told there, that Romero's behind him in case he needs him. But Bablitz goes forward. Why not go forward? Everything seems to be going in today for both teams. Well, Johannes plays that to Romero. Pressure being put on by Ferraro. Gets that to Wold Johannes. And that comes out wide to Alan Sofo. Tries to get that over the defense. It does not come off. Sanford scored, make it 3-2 a while ago. That was, i sorry, the, that was Malik Darby coming back from offside position. Oh, they've given the ball away to Darby. Look out, he's feeling it, and they, there's a foul on him. That's probably the best way to stop him is to foul him. And there's been no other way to stop him so far today, so may as well get a body in front. Is he going to take this? No, I think he's going to get subbed off. Oh, come on, let him try to get his fourth. That's what the commentator wants. Oh, we have to get him off. We have to make sure everyone gets their time. But let's face it, we all wanted to see if he scored his fourth. Old Johannes is standing over this, I think, alongside Sofo. Not sure which of these is going to take it. Oh, it's off the crossbar from Wilde Hannes. And it's headed back and in the goal. 5-3. Off the rebound. And the Orange team, to be fair, was slow to react. Off that ball coming off the bar. Maybe they got caught ball watching a bit. Because it was a little bit too easy there for Dylan Wiley to head that in and Really leaving Napriala no chance. After after he sees up, all go off the bar. The only teams that react to it was the ones wearing blue, and it's five to three. These games take less than an hour, so this is a this is something of a five three. These teams were playing ninety. I, I maybe putting up a nineteen fifties like scoreline. Back when 
back in an era when scores like 8-5 were actually fairly common. But I'll stop with the soccer history lesson. Kassam plays that ball up the wing. There's still time to get some goals. Who knows the way these teams are scoring goals. What is enough time? I said before that I didn't. I thought time was, was a wasting, and that was four goals ago because I think it was 3-1 when I said that. And now it's Played back in. Oh, there's the chance. Scrambled away. Castillo is going to win that. Oh, it's good recovery by the defender. Getting that Medina. Medina play playing that down the wing. Looking, that's Medina now who hasn't. Sorry, that was Laurie that played that down the wing to Medina. They're both wearing red, red and orange, similar haircuts and long slung. Pinnies. Just had the order of the players mixed up there. Two, 215 is Alan Sofo getting that ball back to, Rutherf to Rutherford and goal. Now he's going to try that and he was, looks like he was going to take that up the wing but he decides against it, gives it back to the Rutherford. Now to Sofo. Wolf is there on the outside for him. Wolf plays that into the middle child. Dupre De loses it and that is the last action of the game. To say that was a wild one would be an understatement. Eight goals, 5-3. Three. three of them scored by your man of the match here, Malik Darby. Darby just, he's put, he put on a show for us all. We enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. And so here we are through six games. We're going to start seeing some of the teams come back. Teams we saw play earlier. And we'll see how they show off. And, most importantly, the curse of the Blue Pinny is broken. Sometime mid-afternoon here in Edmonton. We'll switch over. My name is Stephen Sandor. I'm here at the FTF Canada Showcase, day one of two, here at Millwoods, uh, Millwoods Park, south, south side of the city. Looking forward to uh, an, uh, some more great soccer action. And looking forward to calling three more games and having you here with us for three more games. We'll see what that holds for us in a few minutes. He might have actually put us back on time. No, I don't know. Five to five to two.
Okay, we're back. Game four of the day. Team one with Matteo Pagliuso in net will be in blue. And team three in, in orange will have Cade Hawkins. Remember some of these players from team one and three from earlier today. Both teams didn't have success in their first matches. Looking for their first wins each. As you have Paliuso roll that ball out. Orange side. Playing that forward. This is played right wide to Frank Roy Kane. Frank Roy Kane and balls pat knocked out in the touch. But Kane wins that chance. And he'll be the one taking the corner, I believe. Marcus Sperling, who had a couple of great chances earlier, sits in the middle. Waiting for this from Kane and headed away. Oh, and that's a great win of the ball there. That was Ndamukong. Played for team, played for the other team, played for team three in the last time around, but now he's back with his correct team. That ball. Frank Roy Kane again going forward. Sperling's there as an option. He plays that back. That was Matthew Lee. Played that out wide. That's Ab. I think that's Ahmed Hafiz on the, on the throw in. Brings that ball. Gets it back. Kane challenging that challenging Nadana Kong for the ball and that is played out Ray Cruz had that now it's going up the wing and that's to Kramer to Kramer and that's Kizik There's a good run of coming across the middle. And that's going to be played out wide for Ray Cruz. Ray Cruz. I'm going to beat the defender on the wing. There's no way in. Now he's going to be able to turn him. Now he's turned him. And he's done well. He's dropped that ball for Dylan Marple, who gets underneath that shot, unfortunately, and hits it high and well over the net. But Ray Cruz looked like he had nowhere to go there. Was able to make a quick turn one way, quick turn the other. Was able to... Able to fool the opposition. Jacob LeBlanc playing it back. Out to Ray Cruz. Oh, that ball stolen by Frank Roy Kane. Frank Roy Kane with the shot. Well collected there by the keeper. Matteo Pagliuso gets it out to Dylan Marple. Oh, and that's given away. And here's a chance. Oh, and that's just fired just over. That was Sandhu, who's probably blew this, this, this Team 3's best player in the first game. Sandhu fires that just right over the net. Abby Roop Sandu. Once again, Paliuso plays that ball out. Ray Cruz calling for Damakong to Marple. Marple will play that forward, looking for Kizik. The Damakong. 
to Kramer, asking, asking for the ball. Natamakong doesn't oblige him. Natamakong holds it on, onto it. DeKramer now comes onto it, and they kind of get in each other's way there. But he gets the ball back, and now DeKramer has it. Oh, there's a chance going away back to DeKramer. He tries to roll that through, and that's easily collected by the keeper, Cade Hawkins. Frank Roy Kane trying to get through. Kizik wins that battle. Nil-nil here early on. And that was Jackie Hong finding Sandhu. Sandhu gets the ball back. Finds Frank Roy Kane on the outside and back to Sandhu. And that's split out wide. I think that's up to Hafez. So that's Ali Hamoui, not Haf not Hafez. My apologies. Ali Hamoui is going to have the throw in. Sperling running into a good position to take that. And he gets that. Plays that back. Jackie Hong plays that into the to the rear guard, moving, hammers the ball towards the top of the box, and that's defended away. Hong gets it back. Ham Hamoui plays it through. You're able to turn the ball. And that's Sperling with a great turn. And it's just rolled wide. Sperling showing some good footwork, some strength there too. Shaking off the defender and able to do that. Getting that, even though this chance goes wide. It's right there. Paliuso with the with the goal kick. We're still nil-nil here in the first half. Ball headed away. Damakong. Now both these teams playing their second matches of the day. We'll see what their legs do. They've had a couple, maybe a couple hours off each, maybe an hour for one, two hours to the other. Seeing what that does to the legs. Sometimes, you know, you get you get active and then and then you sit down for an hour and then you, your legs aren't there. So we're gonna see what what happens. Some of these players, how they respond. Well played for to Sperling. Look for Hamoui. He gets back to Palio, so. Ray Cruz back to his keeper. Now his keeper hammers it long, looking for Kizik. And that was well cut out by the defender. That was Rahil Dial. And it came across the way to Habib Alimar. Now wall play wide into Damakong. What's he going to do? He, does he win that battle? They're still going. And he, with his strength, he's able to get through. Lucky there. I think the defender had a hack at his ankles. I think if that Damakong went down, I know he's favoring it. He might have got, got a penalty. Not that I'm saying it's the right thing to go down. I'm not saying you should try to entice a penalty kick. But maybe I was. So maybe I should take that all back. Frank Roy Kane. Had the chance, rolled off his foot. Paliuso collects. Both teams going at it. They're not really trying to build in midfield. They're trying to do some quick dashes down the wings. Trying to go at each other. Kind of going back and forth right now. Dylan Marple playing that ball across to the back. And now the ball's played long. Looking for Ndamukong, who was favoring his ankle, but looks like he's okay. Moves that and move that across. Bo Peral didn't quite get that. And now it's Sandhu. Sandhu plays that back to Dial. Jackie Hong to Dial. Back to Jackie Hong. And now to Sandhu. Well done through the middle by the orange side there. Nice triangles play to get that free and get into the, the final third. Now what can they do with it? Frank Roy Kane to Jackie Hong. He's going to have a go. Ball bounces up into Paliuso's midsection. And he collects that smartly. Now that ball's going to be played up to Kizik. Kizik's got to Kramer on a run. He decides to go the other way, though. Doesn't go up the near wing, but he gets the ball back. And now it's into Damakong. Now it's falling to Kizik, but the first touch takes him away from goal. But he still hangs on, hangs on, hangs on. Now he's got a chance, and he hits the bar. Kramer, oh, and he split that just wide. 
Oh, I thought that chance had gone away from Kizik when he took that away from goal, but he's able to collect, move across, and smack that square off the crossbar. Miko De Kramer had the chance on the rebound and put that wide. And now this Orange team's got to collect itself. Dial. He's going to play that up. Sandhu. Ray Cruz plays that through. Now that comes through to the Damakong. Tries to slide through. It's well cut out by the defenders. Now to Frank Roy Kane. Kane's going to take Cruz on. No, he's going to play that back to Jackie Hong. Now it's going to come up the wing to Sandhu. Sandhu just shoves down the defender there like he wasn't there. And Sandhu plays the ball through for Marcus Sperling. Sperling, he's onside. He's onside. Can he get, can he get goal side? No, he's going to play that to Kane. He's going to drop that just outside the penalty area. Now is Kane going to have a shot? Yes, Kane's going to have a shot, and it's wide. But it's a good attempt. Had Pagliuso diving for it. Pagliuso couldn't be sure that that was going wide. Now Pagliuso playing this out. Play back to Marple. A little bit of an awkward one for the keeper, but he settles that down. And then that is played high and wide for Amro Taleb. Well, she well shepherded away by Dial. Taleb will get the throw in. Bo Peral's right there, available as an option, but no, he's going to leave that for Ray Cruz to throw in. Instead, he's going to go up into the attack. A simple option there that Cruz takes, looking for Bo Peral, not going to come off. Jackie Hong's got the ball, middle, middle of the park. He's going to drop that off. Uses, uses, uses uh, defender Keegan Ray. Ray slides that along the outside to Habib Alimar. And that's Lee, I think, but he's going to step over that. And I think that's going to be Keegan Ray again. And he has a go, but that's going to fall right to Ray Cruz. Bit of a heavy touch. Creates a bit of a 50-50 situation, but Cruz settles that down. Now to Marple. Ball's a little bit heavy, sometimes on this turf. It's warming up now. Is that's going to speed things up a little bit on this turf? It's, a, it's hard to say. Usually in the cooler temperatures, it speeds up. Warmer temperatures, that rubber underneath can get a little stickier. But it's still, even though the sun's shining, it's just not a what you consider a hot summer day. It's not, not, not even 20 degrees out. It's been cool and overcast uh, summer for, for most of the part in Edmonton, and very rainy. Sperling chips that up. Is he going to get the return ball? But the keeper gets out there. Pagliuso, he throws long and high, looking for Kizik. Dial plays that out. Shepard it away, but Kizik's going to have that chance. Kizik coming forward to De Kramer. De Kramer. No, it does not win that battle. But it does fall back. Lulibas plays it around again. And that's Bo Peral. Gets that back to Marple. Marple out to Ray Cruz. Cruz to Taleb. Back to Taleb. Oh, it's cut out though. Well cut out. Now this ball comes out to Frank Roy Kane on the wing. It hasn't come off yet. Had chances. Both these teams looking for that breakthrough. After the last game, this feels a little bit slow paced after that 5-3 game in the in our last encounter. 
our most recent encounter. Sandhu playing that back. And that's Lazaryev back to his keeper, who uh, we haven't called Kate Hawkins's name very much. The ball's coming forward. There it was a chance there. Harun Musa coming into the game for the for the for team three, team three against team one. Both teams lost their first games. And the ball's played into the middle. It was well done by Tenasiu. Wins that ball back. He gets it back again. Now it comes all the way back. Paliuso waves off his center back, says, I'm going to pass it out to you instead, but that's coming slow. That's going to give time for Kane to give pressure. And sure enough, that ball's given away. Sandhu wins it to Kane. Kane, Sperling. Oh, and that's just wide. And he's. I tell you, some of the chances Sperling had, if you add them all up together, you still wouldn't have a foot simply because of how close he's been to the goal. He's missed by two inches here, three inches there, two inches there. But I said it before and I said it again in this game, unfortunately, there is no scoring for being close. And there's no reward for being close. And I will uh, quote my late father when I say <laughs> he had a striker's mentality and the striker's mentality was it doesn't, miss if you, it doesn't matter if you miss by two inches or 60 feet. I think I said that before in the broadcast, but I should credit that where I got that from. Something I used to hear my father say all the time. My father played years and years ago as a striker, and he had that mentality. Now to Sperling. Try to play that out wide for De Kramer. That was very bold play by Tanasiu. Long throw. That finds a target. It's Frank Roy Kane. He's going to have a chance. Kane with deflection. Is that going to go for a corner? I believe so. Sandu looks like he's going to take this. Plays it quickly. Played into the middle. Spurling. And there's a shot. And that's cleared off by the defender. Sandu trying something spectacular. And that's going to go well high of the goal. But Cameron Lapierre tried something a little bit spectacular there. Or sorry, that wasn't Cameron Lapierre. That was... That, yes, it was. He had a chance there. was blocked off. Sand who pushes, uh, pushes forward, pushing the defender to push that ball back. That comes out wide to Taleb. Not much there for him. Jackson Fuller. Taking that wide to Sandhu. Or sorry, into the middle to Sandhu. Sandhu... Now it's wide out to Frank Roy Kane. And Kane's run a lot in this, this, this game. Really trying to push that defense back. It's been a good battle between him and Ray Cruz on the outside. They've been matched up against each other quite a bit. Fuller trying to beat Taleb to that ball. It's a, it's gonna, does that stay in? The referee says no. Says the throw-in goes to the blue side. Will this be Taleb? No, he's going to throw that off to Ray Cruz. Taleb will go forward. Usually the fullbacks take these these throw-ins. That's generally the strategy. Lots of time here. Defender. Just an ass. That's Tenasiu. Ball's one away. Sandhu. He's got Musa down one wing and he's got him. 
He's found him. Here comes the cross. Oh, Ray Cruz hits that. Doesn't quite get the purchase on that clearance that he thought. And that's that, that terrible feeling when you're the defender and you kind of mishit that ball. That oh, I just put this into my own goal. And luckily for Ray Cruz, that went well over. But not where he wanted that to end up. It ends up being a corner for Team 3. And we'll have another corner. So that's headed away by Ray Cruz. Sandhu plays that out. Kane. Now he's going to have a go. Paliuso is in front of it. It's hit right at him. Now the blue team has a chance. Keys is going to try to turn this around pretty quickly. Oh, he almost had Janassi moving forward, moving through, but Janassi had to turn around to get that pass. By the time he could negotiate it, the defenders were able to get back. That's played along out to the outside, onto the, the right wing, and that's Musa. Now it's easily gathered. That's Keegan Ray. Back to the keeper, Hawkins. Ray's got the ball. No pressure. He's got time. What's he going to do with it? He's going to play it long. Long, hopeful ball. Some good, good pressure there. Spurling. Janassi plays that through, looking for Taleb. But well, well run back by the fullback there. Fullback Jackson Fuller dealing with that really well. Out to Kane. Oh, that's a nice little turn by Kane. He's, he falls. They call the foul, but he plays the advantage. Referee does a smart thing there, plays the advantage. Kane was fouled, but he allowed that to go on. And Sandu got the ball, and unfortunately for the Orange team, it hasn't come off. That's how it's been. They, they've... No shortage of enterprise from either team. They've they both looked to go forward. Neither have looked to sort of kill the game in midfield or kill the game by moving the ball back to the to the back and then back to the midfield and back to the back again. But just hasn't come off. Oh, and that's a nice little turn. Well played up as to Kramer. And that's going to be touched, and I think that's going to be a corner kick. Yes, because I think the, the defender there was the last one who got a touch to it. I believe that was the defender. The last last one back, and that would have been, that would be Cameron Lapierre. Here comes the corner kick for the blue side. Hammered in. Well claimed there by the keeper. Kate Hawkins rolling that ball out. He's got time to Musa. Musa's just play that back. Use the time he has. Be smart about things. Play it back to Hawkins. Is he going to go back the way he came? Or is he going to go around the, the horn a different way? He's going to go around the horn. Try that. Move back from Lapierre to Musa. Musa slipped and fell there. Put a little bit of pressure on his on the on his defense partner there. They just get that down smartly. Paliuso. Sperling tried to get some pressure there, but Paliuso dealt with it. Game seems to hit a bit of a lull right now. Teams Almost now we're in seem to be in the feeling out phase as I say that almost a giveaway. Jabs looking for Cruz, loses it to Kane. Jabs again. Jackie Hung. 
That is played back to Keegan Ray to Musa. Musa in the middle of the park to Peter Yee. That's cut out. Jackie Hong to Yee. Jackson Fuller. Looking long for Frank Roy Kane. Kane denied there by Ethan Jabs. Sandu flips that up, but he's not going to take that throw. He needs to get in position there. It's Jackson Fuller, the fullbacks. Peter Yee with the ball. Playing that into position there for Lapierre. Lapierre spreads that across the back. Switching play to Musa. Musa's ball kind of finds its way through to Sperling and now back to Musa. Now Musa's going to have a little chip and it's, or a long chip. And I believe that's halftime. I think that's the referee. I think he blew the whistle long and called for halftime. And that's what it is. We're going to switch ends here. Neither team has got the advantage in this one. We will switch sides. You see if fatigue is setting in for these teams now into their second game. Second half of the second game. You wonder if a mistake is caused by fatigue or what will be the decider in these games. We start again. Sandhu playing that out wide. Now he goes out wide to retrieve that ball. What can he do? Well defended there. Throw coming in. Looks like it's Musa. He's going to make this throw. Here's a, this is an odd change, I have to say. Like uh, the Orange is now making full-scale substitutions. We just had the halftime break. They could have done it then. Maybe it caught them by surprise how quickly the halftime happened. And it's an odd time to be making these changes. But it's done. That's well played out. That's Dial. Pierre told him to play it back. We have new keepers in the game. As we do, at each half they switch. Charlie Topher is a net for the, the orange team, and a net for Team Blue is Nicholas Tryon. Dial playing to Lapierre. Going across. That's still going to find its way to Lapierre. He'll play that back to Topfer. Be sure about it. Topfer looks to play a tight one across the box. Sorry, outside of the box to Al Almiar. But now the blue side's turning it around. But Sandu has been everywhere. Plays that ball wide. And he gets it out to Ali Hamoui. Gets up all into the front. But not much. Not much going and try and collect. Look to Lab playing that ball back. And there's Dylan Marple playing it back to the keeper. And that's just chipped right out. Got space in the right wing. He's got time. He turns that to Jamassi. Now it's Frank Roy Kane on the other side. Well, same side, but we switch sides, so he's on the far side from me. That ball comes back to Charlie Topher. Settled into... See what this game seems to have settled into a rhythm. A little bit of feeling out from either side. It says Sand, Sand who We'll see if someone can stretch the game with a moment of brilliance. Sand who This is a really good battle with Jacob LeBlanc. And then... No foul given. She says that's okay. Turned around there. 
Matthew Lee. Ball goes into touch. Looking for a big throw. This goes back to Lapierre. Lapierre switches the ball, moves it. Little give and go just to just to free up some space. Now he's giving himself some time, and that's Frank Roy Kane. Now that's a good little switch of play. Let's move to the cross to the outside. And that was Hamley who just couldn't get to it. But the throw now from Alamyar. Looking for Sandhu. Free kick given. Sandhu's going to take it. Now is this going to pour into the far post? Is he going to try to maybe fool the keeper? We've seen that before with the shot on goal. But this looks like it's going to screw in towards the far post. Looking at the way that the orange side set up. And indeed that's where it goes. Over the keeper's outstretched arms. But he gets it back on the second try. That's Tryon. I guess he would try and try again for trying. All right, that's a pun that wasn't going to work. Any Gene Principe fans out there, I apologize. I'm not Gene. Ball finds its way in Charlie Topher's hands. Lee loses out. There we have Horolechko. Ball slows down, finds its way to Jag Zaharia. And then into the back. It was Ryan Gamble. Gamble is wearing 140. He's listed as 40 on the roster, but. Alamiar. That looks like Peter Yi. Nice, wrote a couple of challenges nicely. Gets it out to Lee. Lee rolls that out onto the far wing to Frank Roy Kane. And Frank Roy Kane slows down, then makes the run. Oh, there's a chance and just snatched at by the striker. Kane did really well to lure the defender in. Slowed, slowed his pace and then dashed by. That change of pace can be so, so effective. But Ahmad Abdel Hafez couldn't find the purchase on the finish after Kane's work. Horolechko tries to go up the middle. Oh, but he gets his ball. He gets it back. A little bit of confusion on the orange side that there's like three players looking at each other like we were supposed to get it. Zaharia goes long. Looks like to Taleb. Taleb on the outside. Did that go off an arm? No, it did not. Referee says to play on. Taleb gets it back. Lapierre doesn't let that. Oh, he does. It does get out. And it's going to be a blue throw. Team one with the throw. The one thing with team one is because they're team one, they will always wear the blue pennies. They're the only team that won't switch at any time during this tournament. Or I guess this showcase of games. And there's another ball. And this one... Oh, foul called. And now Orange has a chance to relieve the pressure, get the ball out. Which they do, they get it out to half. Marple tries to turn. He's not allowed to, so he plays that back. Orange just gets that out into trouble. I thought that was going to get out over the fence, but nope. Hit one of the, the bench area behind it till the ball bounced back. We're in Edmonton at Millwoods, Millwoods Park. Have it out to Alimar. Tries to go wide. That's picked off by Zaharia. Zaharia's got a chance to come in, come in, play the ball in. It doesn't quite work out. Matthew Lee wins that back. But Zaharia's going to win that back. No, it's going to be a throw in that he'll take. Bo Peral. Zaharia. Oh, nice little spin there by Zaharia. That was pretty pretty. That was pretty. But he doesn't get 
but no one sort of follows him, and he loses it. And now it's the lead to Sandu. Sandu's going to try to break to Frank Roy Kane. Frank Roy Kane, was he going to go down the wing or is he going to cut inside? He's going to cut inside. He throws that ball out wide to Hafez. Is this going to be the chance? Is this going to be it? Oh, it's blocked out. Is this is there going to be another chance that falls? No. Some dogged defending, and now the foul called on the attacker. Nicholas Tryon. Going to hit this out. Beauperol. The ball kind of rides up on him a little bit there. But he's going to get the chance to bring that back. Nope, it's going to give that enough to Zahari to throw. Zaharia plays that in the middle to Horolechko. Dylan Marple. Laid down that far side. To Taleb. Taleb not able to turn it. Teams really start to feel now they're canceling each other out. Will this be our first? Or will this be finishing a draw? We don't know. One mistake, one moment of brilliance can change things. But right now these teams have been really working well to snuff each other out right now. Can they keep this up through the second half? Jacob LeBlanc's attempt, and it goes out into touch. Been a lot of balls in touch, a lot of dead ball situations in this game. At least that's how it feels. But here's something. Ball gets back to Lapierre. What's he going to do? He's going to play that back. He has time. Lapierre has time. He's going to play that back to the keeper. Lapierre being chased by the Kong. And that's back to the keeper again, Topher. And he's going to spray that wide for Alamyar. Who's going to get that out to Ali Hamoui. Who gets that to Sandhu. Alamyar is going to play that back to Topher. There's a chance to turn. Frank Roy Kane. It's a good battle from the defender, but they judge that Kane pushed him in the back to create the chance. Damakong. Topher rolls that out to Alamyar. This ball's played forward. Ball's played forward, looking. Sandhu. Looks like Peter Yi, who makes a clever turn, pushes that ball through to Hafiz, and there's the goal. There it is. Peter Yi, though, creates that, I think, with a clever turn of play after taking the pass from Sandhu. He looked like he was going towards the sideline, shifted, turned his shoulder, fooled the defender, and then played that ball in. Half to finish that off. Rolls the ball in past Tryon, and we have that we have that goal. Now what's going to be the response? What's going to be the response from Team 1? Team's making wholesale changes. Oh, there's a giveaway. But scrambled away. Boparol now chasing. So is a Damakong. Both putting pressure on Keegan Ray. But Keegan Ray gets out of the trouble. And he plays that to Jackie Hong. 
You can hear players calling Jackie's name. Asking for that pass. Ball's played back though. Sumi Kumar that played that back. The keeper. Marple. Jackie Ong playing that long for Frank Roy Kane. That's a little bit too ambitious. Nicholas Tryon's got the ball. I don't think he's much he could have done about the goal. It's a well-placed shot by Hafez. Ray Cruz. When you get that wide for the Damakong. And the chase is on. Keegan Ray. Oh, and tried to he would not get fooled by the spin move. Good defending there. Hamoui coming up. Sandhu. Sandhu now through. Can Kane get the first touch? Now, oh, he's gonna, oh, if he stays on his feet, he scores. Oh, a foul is called, and you can see Tryon is yelling that he did not touch Kane, that Kane fell on his own, that after Kane pushed the ball by, Kane just fell down under his own power, just stumbling as he pushed the ball by because he got around the keeper and he fell down. He would have had an open goal. Tryon complaining that he did not foul Kane, but the referee does not agree and has given the free kick. You can hear right from up in the press box, Tryon screaming, I did not touch him. The referee saying, no, you did. And now it's Kane with the free kick. Kane who had that glorious chance. Will have a chance here to make it 2-0. Walls in place. Sandu standing as sort of the dummy in the, in, in, in the wall. Is he going to back off and go out? Is he actually lifting up his jersey on purpose, Sandu, to make himself look like a blue player? No, now he's dropped it. I think Sandu is a, is a pretty clever player. He was wearing a blue shirt underneath his orange shirt, and he went into the wall, and he lifted up his orange penny. So it looked like he was wearing blue, and I think he was trying to fool the the blue team into thinking that maybe they that he, he wasn't there. A little bit of gamesmanship from from Sandu, I think. There, I don't think he was lifting that jersey because he was hot or any reason. This is a penny they're wearing. I mean, I think I think he was being pretty clever, using every advantage he got. Play other looking for Hamoui. And that was Musa. Musa's gonna have a throw. Musa's gonna go long with it. Looking for Sperling. Sperling's got a chance here to get out wide. There's Jackie Hong losing out. Is going to have the throw. Orange, the orange team leads by one. Goal by Hafiz. Oh, it's interesting throw there by Musa. Long throw. There's some that would argue that might not have been a legal throw because he twisted his body as he did it. But there's guys that do it. Other levels of the game, and that's a borderline one. And if you can do it and get away with it, all the power to you. Well played forward there by Dial. Jackie Hong. Hong goes wide for Hamoe. De Musa. Musa turns inside. Now he just plays it back smartly. Looking for Keegan Ray, who's just going to play that back to his keeper, Charlie Topher. He's got Dial short. Oh, he actually hits Dial. I don't think they, I don't think Dial was expecting. I think he's trying to play that out wide, and that puts them in some trouble. Oh, there was a big collision there. Keegan Ray stands up strong. 
That's a big man. And Dylan Marple went for the shot and just bounced off of Keegan Ray. We'll see what the referee calls here. He didn't blow the whistle right away. But Dylan Marple is, is grasping his, it looks like his nose. He just bounced off the shoulder, his head, like off the shoulder of Keegan Ray as he went to the shot. And Keegan Ray stood his ground. And See what the referee decides here. What, what is the call? But this all started, this panic all started off because uh, a kick out from, from Charlie Topfer hit Dial in the back of the, the, the ankle. He didn't know anything about it. Dial was just, was just crossing out. And I think they're just going to say, this is a corner kick. There's no foul here. Or there's a throw in for the for the blue side for no foul. Just the ball went in touch, so now it's a throw in. And that's just a case of physical play. Two players coming together, inadvertent contact. Play on. Here's a long attempt. Easy catch for Topher. Speculative attempt there from Sumit Kumar. But an attempt nonetheless. Hong. Saw the referee look at his watch. Not sure how much time's left, but looked down at it. Peter Yi did a lot to set up the, the goal of the game here. A little deceitful run in the midfield that and then opened it up with a great pass. Great turn of the shoulder that had everyone fooled, maybe even the commentator. Oh, Jackie Hong falls over the ball. To Kramer. Oh, knocks Hong over. But Lee goes forward. He's got Hamowy wide on the outside. He's got space. What's he going to do with it? He's going to cross it in early. Looking for Lee. And that takes a half volley. Kind of bounces up off of his, off of his shin. And it's a fairly easy catch over the keeper trying. See how much time here's left. Ray Cruz runs out of room. Musa throws it in. Peter Yee's been very good in this game. Plays that ball into Frank Roy Kane. This time I think Kane's got to finish. And that time he does. This time he steps around, he stays on his feet. And Peter Yee with two wonderful assists in this game, to be fair. Like, there are goals from the team. But I think Peter Yee has actually been the, the, the player to watch for this uh, Team 3 in, in his second game. Set up both goals. And that one was as cool as you like from Frank, Frank Roy Kane. And it's, uh, the orange side is up 2. And now it looks like this match is, in terms of the outcome, we know, we know who's going to come out on top. Foul called. Blue side is going to have some work to do going forward. Ball thrown forward. Leave for Damakong. Doesn't come off. Dial. Goes in the middle of Jackie Hong. Loses the ball. Kizik. Man, it's just shuffled out of trouble there. Cameron Lapierre. Oh, that ball. Ray Cruz on the outside. Looking to bring that inside. Playing it through, and that seems good to work. I don't think that's offside. There's hands up from the orange side saying they thought that was off, but I think that was good. I think there was players playing... The attacker's on. Attack's still on. Kizik just can't bring it down to get the attack. And now Orange turns this around. Can they get a third on the counter? Coming back. It's cleared out. Bo Peral on the outside. He asks for it. He gets it. And that's Ray Cruz playing that back. Out the back. That was Ethan Jabs playing it to the keeper. And Dylan Marple gets that outside. That was Kumar. There can't be too much time left in this one. 2-0. Two, 2 to the good.
Operol. Ball played in long. Sperling trying to get past. Musa. Going to get that throw like they're down 2 nothing, not like they're up 2 nothing. With the speed he wanted to get that ball back in. Good for him. Love to see it. Kizik. He may have a chance down the wing. Damakong is on. Onside. Is he going to have a chance? He has a shot and he does and he just squeezes it wide. Wasn't sure if Damakong was on or offside in that play. To me, it looked like he may have been a foot or so off, but in the end, it didn't matter. Topher will play this ball out. Keegan Ray. He has got Musa on the outside. Musa will turn. And played into the middle. That was Peter Yee again. Peter Yee has been very, very effective. Number 50. Wearing the orange. Set up both goals. Didn't score either, but definitely. And Kizik. Oh, that is a fantastic tackle by Keegan Ray. You can't time that any better. I thought Jacob, I thought Kizik was by him. And Ray hits the deck, gets all ball, and ends that attack right then and there. Teams warming up, already for that for the next game. They're coming fast and furious. We'll have two more after this one. And there's a chance. Miss the ball's kicked into the middle, and that's it. And that's that's the game. Two nothing. Two nothing. Two nothing. Final. And uh, the Orange team wins, but I think the player of the game, if I had a man of the match, I would go to Peter Yee, who sets up both goals. Really strong in the midfield. We'll be back in a couple of minutes with the next game. And we'll be back. A couple more to go here at, uh, at the FTF Showcase. My name is Steven Sandor. I've been calling games all day. My pleasure to bring these games to you from the broadcast booth here at Mill Woods Park. We'll be back in a couple of minutes with our next match. We'll talk in just a couple of minutes.
Okay, we're here. Maybe a little bit of a cl uh, clash of the Titans game. Two versus five, both with convincing wins uh, in their first game. So we're going to get to see. Sorry, two versus five. I apologize. I think. Sorry about that. And right away, we see that player who dazzled us so fast for Team 2 in, in the first game. And that would be Mr. Ch Mr. Chan getting a shot on goal there for two. Pete Preston Chan, who has been very effective. And sorry, it's Team... Team five in blue. And remember that team five. Because it was Malik Darby who scored a hat trick for them in the opener. They won they scored five in their in their first game. This team in Orange scored four in their first game. So you know, I'm all set up for a 7-6. What do you say, folks? But we'll see how this one works out. As Castillo pushes that into touch from the Team Blue, which is Team 5. And just so we have this straight, so you know it at home watching the game. In net for, t for the orange team is Connor Short. Right now, team two, team five, Aaron Napierala in goal. And already it's Dylan Phobes, the orange side, playing it out. Looks like Preston Chan playing that ball forward. Derek Douglas, no, not quite. Didn't quite come off for him. It's Katia playing the ball down the wing. And that was Jaden Vaugh. Preston Chan to Castro. And that's Katia, who was just such a rock in the game as well. In that first 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 win for this team wearing orange number two. And but five has got some sparks as well. We know what they can do. Short takes that ball in, plays out wide, looking for Chan. He may have Chan, and that's Campbell who's going to play that out. That's where Christian Clark plays that out. Jaden Vaughn is going to take this throw. He set up Dylan Phobes is close. Phobes playing that through. Preston Chan to Phobes. Looks like a promising attack. Phobes is going to cut in, plays it. Low into Chan, trying to play in defeat. Castillo coming up. Ball taken away. Va looking for Preston Chan on the outside. Christian Clark going to shepherd him out, but did, did he play? Yes, he did. Chan with, plays that ball off of Clark's ankles, and I think he's won the corner. And that's Chase Lightheart who's going back to take that corner. The two big, the two big center backs. Zahara. And Kadji are both up for this team two. Chase Lightheart scored in the first game. It's going to pound this in. Looking far post. And it all worked out in the end. Tristan Romero. Play that up. Bablitz. Back to Napriala. Well, he plays that as I think I press and Chan's going to pick that off to Lightheart. Chan's going to have maybe a chance to have a go. Is he going to have a go? Yes, he does. Napriala to save, but there's a rebound there for Douglas. Douglas finishes. Second goal of the day for Douglas. First goal of the game. Enjoying that. Great reflexes to pounce the rebound. Preston Chan again sets that up with the original opportunity. Napriala makes the save, but he can't hold on to it. And ball spills to Douglas, and he makes sure 
And it's 1-0. And let the score fest start on this one. And as I said, one team scored four. One team scored five in their first, first games. Why not start off fast? You had to feel that the goals were going to fly in. And we're all waiting to see where number 211 is for the blue side. Scored three. Malik Darby. Vaugh with the throw to Phobes. Phobes will turn that really quickly to Preston Chan. To Kadia. To Castro. The way that this Orange team can control the ball. We saw this in the first game. Long stretches of possession. Chase Lightheart. Is he going to push that wide? He did try to push it wide, but it was a good last ditch attempt by Bablitz to, to break that up. Gets that out to Castillo. Castillo will take Va on a one on one. Tries to get outside. Va gets the outside of the foot. Says none of this. Plays that out. Christian Clark with the throw in. Now remember this team wearing blue went down early 1-0 in their first game. Ended up winning 5-3. In fact, we're up 3-1. Allowed that game to get tied 3-3 and then stormed with two late goals to win 5-3. Lightheart. Derek Douglas. Douglas plays that forward. Napriala. Out to Christian Clark. Out to Castillo. That stays in. But Phobes is there. Now Preston Chan, he plays that in the middle to Castro. Castro's got plenty of time and space. He decides he's going to spin that wide. Looking for Fred Baptiste. Fred Baptiste now going to bring that in. And I think he's drawn a corner, which he has. And it looks like he's out there to take that. Matisse plays that long. Looks like Chan will be the first one too. Va looks to have the throw. 1-0 early in this first half. It's team two has been impressive so far. Preston Chan with a chase Lightheart. Plays that back. Oh, that's a great ball in for Douglas. Douglas shifts that back to, to, to Chan. Oh, what a finish. That is, that is a fantastic team goal. And this is, we're expecting this to be a back and forth offensive explosion. Right now, it's one-way traffic. This team two, this orange side that won 4-1 earlier, off to a steamrolling 2-0 beginning Chan again looking just fantastic and he takes that ball he takes that away before he can get out to Bablitz Bablitz has got to do what he can just to just stem the tide goal kick coming but what a goal that was played in from Lightheart to Douglas and Douglas knocked that down and gave it to Chan but Chan still had a lot of work to do had to make sure to bend that shot around a defender. And not only did he bend it around, but he got it in with power. He really gave. Napriola is probably thinking, I, this is not the game I wanted to be in goal. Two nil early. Castro does well, almost wins that wins that ball. It's 
Tahara does so well there. Gets that ball out of trouble. Let's chip back in. Castillo now with a chance. But Vaugh plays that away. Vaugh wins that battle. He gets that out of trouble. Bablets now with a throw. We'll see how this blue team can respond. We know they can score. They scored five in, the, in, the, in their previous game. So, Ismail, ball, loses it. Takes it off of Phobes' foot. Doesn't allow Orange to begin the counter, though. Tadia plays that across. Keepers harried there. That was not bad. I think that was well done by the blue side there. I believe that was Dylan Wiley who forced the keeper into a mistake after the Kadia pass. And this will be Kyle Wolf with the throw. Wolf. Wants to cut to the middle, trying to cut to the box. He can't get there. Phobes plays that out. Castro trying to get his team out of jail, and they do. Phobes plays that long for Preston Chan. Chan's going to win this race with Bublitz. Bublitz has got to see what he can do to cut off the wrath of the net. He does well. He makes sure to get goal side there, forcing Chan to go back to Phobes. But Phobes finds Lightheart. That was a nice transition. Oh. An overlap there from, from Light, Lightheart to get around and take that position that was ori originally taken by Preston Chan. Such clever ball control. And this second team, there's no team two in this tournament. Look out, I don't think anyone expected Douglas to be the first to be there. Romero didn't, neither did the keeper. But Douglas said no, I will be there first. Preston Chan, oh, he had to go there. That ball settled down after Phobes slid to win it. And it slid for him, and he thought, he's feeling good. He just scored. He's going to try to get another one, and that one gets behind. Capriola is going to have have a go. And settling it down as some of the teams making changes here. Players coming in and out. Ball played short. That would Emmanuel Joseph who played that back. Now it's Cameron with the throw. He looks for Pescod. He loses out. Bablets. Not there. Now he's on I mean, with these changes. The, the man is on. The guy who, the man who had the hat trick in the last game for the blue side. So now things get interesting as we see Malik Darby has checked into the game. He's making the run. That's Liam Kadia. Liam Kadia. Got that ball out. Allen. Safo looking to control this. Gets this back. That's going to be a little bit challenging for the keeper just because of the bounces. Now it's going to settle down. He's got plenty of time to play this off his chest. Douglas forward, though, to Christian Clark. This ball will turn pretty quickly. There again. They were looking for Joseph Odibala. He scored as well. Scored a great goal in the first game. And now it's Malik Darby. Look at that footwork. But you know what? The Orange team doesn't mind when that footwork from the three-goal man is done 40 yards from goal. You don't want to see that five yards from goal or even 20 yards from goal. 40 yards from goal is fine. Who's going sideways that way? Sahara plays that out to Pescod. He's knocked down there by Safo. Free kick given.
And here comes the throw from Abenezer Darge. Or sorry, free kick, sorry. So it was the foul. Preston Chan in that run with Bablitz. Bablitz does well to force Chan outside. Chan still controls, doesn't let that go into touch. Chan still battling Bablitz, and Chan wins the battle. Forcing the defender to come over. Second defender has to help on Preston Chan, but they do well that way. Taking him out. Liam Caggio heads that out. That was Joe Fandozo, Fandozo, who had that ball. And that ball is played out for Emmanuel Joseph. There's no chance for him to get to that. So Darge throws it high for Pescod. Surprise spread this wide, looking for Rubiala. That was Darby riding some challenges. Darby looking to pounce on this ball, looking to get this, create that chance. Shoves the defender, Pandozo, off of it. What a battle here, Kadia. But they call Darby for the pulling of the shirt. Liam Kadju has had his hands full there with Darby. He scored a hat-trick in, in his previous match. And an impressive one as well. There was no softies in that hat-trick. A couple of really dazzling runs before he finished chances. All right, and there we have a run. Coming out, Derek Douglas. Douglas has already scored one. Set up another. Douglas. They put two defenders on him, and that's probably a good idea. Ball gets wide. Darge. High throw over Pesco's head. Well, Sofa gives that up a little too easily. This ball's one back. Now the turn as they look for Castillo on the outside. He doesn't quite read it. Va doesn't quite, he rolls off his hip. He's trying to play that, turn that around. It's a blue throw. Clark. Game has settled down a bit after a frenetic start. I saw this orange team score twice. Early. Emmanuel Joseph. Looks like he has a bandage of some sort in his cheek. Jim Clark tried to play that long. Comes through the second time. Here's the man, Darby, playing that ball through. Oh, it was a chance there for Odi Biala. Screwed that wide. Darby tried to be provider that time rather than the scorer. We're here at the FTF Canada Showcase here in Edmonton in the Mill Woods, at Mill Woods Park in the south side of the city. Stephen Sandor, I'm here with you as we near the, the end of a hectic day of matches. But this is only the beginning because tomorrow is another hectic day of matches. So if you want to see some local soccer prospects, today's like Christmas Eve. Tomorrow's like Christmas Day. Darge. Playing the ball through to Pescod. It's going to come across. There it comes. Looking for Preston Chan. Oh, he stormed out of it that time. You have Xavier Hanif playing the ball forward for Otto Biala. Two players fall down. I think they both fell on the turf. I think they both wiped out in the turf at the same time for the blue team. They had an attack going. And at the same time, synchronized. They didn't hit each other. They were about 10 yards apart. They were both sprinting in. And they both fell down. Va plays that to Pescode. To Va. And that was 
bullied off the ball is Frandozo. Not a great ball forward. And there's a shot. Elude Woldy Hannes. But it looks there that Connor Short had that well handled. Zahara gets that ball forward and back to Zahara. It'll be a throw here for the orange side. Castro checks in. Looks like Frandozo goes out. That's what it is. In the midfield, a subtle change. Blue, the blue team, the te team five has grown into the game. Now, uh, not not suffering the same kind of onslaught they were early, but didn't seem they were ready for the possession game. But then there's a giveaway. The orange brought, and here's that man, Preston Chan. He's going to have another go. That falls in the direction of Douglas, and it's three. Just as I said, blue had got a handle on the game. A two-on-two -two rush. Chan shoots the ball, and... Napriola could only push the ball just a few inches away from himself. And Douglas, again, second rebound retrieval goal that he's got. Bangs it in. Both off shots by Chan. And Douglas has set up Chan's goal. They are a deadly 1-2 combination. They're thunder and lightning in this game. 3 nothing for the orange side. Napier Allen plays that out. Safo, he loses out. This ball's played in. Clark clears it out, but it's, it's the threat's still not over. And there's a shot. That looked like Cameron. Try to curl one in. Try to join the party of goals. Seven goals this Orange team has scored, and we haven't even got to halftime of their second game yet. When you want to do the math, they're averaging over two goals a half. This is an offensive machine right now, and it was Cameron who shot that ball over. And honestly, as a commentator, they're the Preston Chan. Gets some help from Castro. Claire plays that ball to Kadia. Kadia to Zahara. Along the back. Kadia to Zahara. Along the back. And Connor Short saves his defender there by getting that ball deep. Now it's Douglas, a two-goal man. Oh, and that's a, that's a great stop by Darge. Stop that attack in his tracks. Blue didn't have a chance to counter. Darge, this blue has blue has possession of the ball, but they couldn't get forward with speed or numbers because of Darge's tackle there. And now coming forward is our three goal man, and plays it out wide, looking for Castillo, headed away by Castro. Okay, Pescod there with the grab of the jersey gets away with it. Castro now comes out. Bablitz. And it's halftime. Halftime and a 3 0. This will be a very quick halftime, as we know from previous games here in FTF Canada's showcase. Gives the guys time for maybe a quick drink. Switch sides quickly, change goalies. That's what each team does. And we'll get you in uh, for the orange team. Coming in with a 3-0 lead is Torrin Rutherford. And for the blue team, probably wondering if the onslaught will continue is Cade Hawkins. So far from the games we've seen, this orange team, Team 2, has been the team to watch. And they switch some personnel. Safo out wide. And Cameron wins the ball on the wing. Cameron tenacious there. 
Doesn't give up on the play. Romero plays that. Sofo falls. They say a little foul there. Say Cameron with maybe a push on Sofo. We get through there. It's Kate Hawkins playing for the blue side now. Bablitz loses out. Manuel Joseph now. And now it's that man Preston Chan who's been very impressive today to Castro. That looks out to Cameron. But it's now it's it's your man. It's Darby who's got a hat trick. He's pushing Sahara. And the referee says, yes, you were pushing just a little bit too much on Zahara and gives the free kick. Good positioning by the defender. Darby hasn't had quite the, the presence that he's had in previous, in previous halves in this, this, this showcase. Emmanuel Joseph. That's going to be played out. There's a foul there called. Alan Wilde Hannes. Oh, we tried to play that out long to, to Darby. The man who can get a scoring touch to see his, get his team within shouting distance. This orange side. Cameron plays it out to Castro. Castro to Dylan Phobes. Dylan Phobes, oh, he's got acres of space ahead. That looks. And here's going to be an attempt. And there's a save. And there's a rebound. But oh, the keeper, Cade Hawkins, collects just in time. As Fred Baptiste had a great chance there. After just a great pass by Phobes. Sprung him down the wing. Just too many gaps appearing. Too many gaps for this, this orange side to find in the blue team's armor. There is place playing down the wing. And that was Wolde Johannes. But he can't get it through. And now it's Cameron. Cameron looking for Fred Baptiste. But Phobes is there. Second wave of attack. Looking for Preston Chan, who's just been all over. I mean, he's playing on the on the left side, but he feels like he's playing the left side in two midfield positions at the same time. Just been a giant out there. Ball well crossed over. Not much is available. See, Cameron's available for this throw. He's going to have time. He's going to have time to turn. Cameron's going to have, have a chance. Plays that long for Chase Lightheart. Lightheart with Sofo. Lightheart plays that in. Ball's played out. You have Sohab al -Huni. get Zahara got caught there. And now, oh, Darby looked like he was by him. Zahara got caught by that throw and like sort of the bounce caught him. And so Darby was able to take the ball and it looked like Zahara was caught. But Zahara with a saving tackle. He's mad at himself. It's funny, he makes a great play to make the saving tackle. But you can see he's mad at himself by allowing Darby to even have a sniff there. Darby probably thought he was, he was gone. You usually have a step and you've got the talent that someone like Darby has. You think that you're going you're gonna to be in the clear. But a great saving play. Bablets with the corner. 3-0 for the orange side. Team 2 over Team 5. Sahara is the first to that. And plays that well into touch. Bablets looking to take the throw or is he going to... No, he's going to say, I'm going to take that. And he throws that short to, Dil to uh, Adam Chauber. Old Johannes gets that ball in. Kadji just knocks that out. Calm as you like. Manuel Joseph can't get that ball underneath his feet. So now Chase Lightheart. It's tough on the turf. It didn't settle down for, for Joseph. Bablis now switching sides, going the other way. Seeing if he can find something. 
Played that down the wing. And Kadia just says no, none of that again. Fret Baptiste turns. We have a two-on-two -two situation appearing. Lightheart coming with him. Good tackle there. Tristan Romero to getting his team out of trouble. But Preston Chan, where is he going to go? He's going to play the smart ball back to Zahara. He gets it out to El Hayuni. El Hayuni, did he keep that in? They say, no, he didn't. I didn't think he kept it in either. Would have been something had Cameron kept that in. Sofo with the throw. Romero's got time. Time is not, though, on this blue team side, being down three goals. Dylan Phobes, Preston Chan. Oh, and this is a great cut. Is he going to score? No, he's not. It's got a great block by Romero, but part of, like, the, I guess, the blue C for him, the blue jerseys, and Chan just ran up that gut. He has just been an absolutely... Uh, in impressive form to these two games. Uh, you can't help but notice Preston Chan out there. Ball's played out wide to Dominic Dupre. Some of these names on the blue team that we called a lot in, in the first game that they played where they scored five, we're not calling a lot in this game. So because, again, Orange is putting this, 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 this clinic on about on when it comes to possession. And there's Preston Chan again. Chase Lightheart playing that out to Fred Bastiste. Playing it back to the middle. You can see maybe some tired legs on the blue side. They've been run pretty ragged here with Orange's possession. And you can see there maybe some heavy legs setting in their second game. And they haven't had a lot of the ball. And that's what happens when you don't have a lot of the ball. Your legs get heavier. The other team's letting the ball do the work. And when you don't have the ball, you're the one doing the work. You're chasing, constantly chasing. There's the ball played up and over. And here's the, the orange team's keeper. Well, I have to look up his name again because we really haven't called his name very much in the second half. And that's Torrin Rutherford. But here's the giveaway. Joseph played that off. The shots just turned wide there. Wasn't a bad chance there for the blue side. Dylan Wiley opened up his foot off the giveaway. And that could have been the chance for, for Blue to get just a ray of daylight into this game and didn't come off for them. So it remains 3-0. Three, three Bablets. The ball's taken. Fred Baptiste. Oh, great turn. Great turn. Great turn again. And now he's played it to the outside. He's created so much space. And oh, it's just on this turf. It's not going to quite slow down for Cameron. He's able to get it. But pretty wide. Now Lightheart. What can he do? He's going to cushion this back for Castro. Is Castro going to have a shot? No, he's not. Is Pescod going to shoot? Lightheart to Pescod. Now he shoots and there's the goal. Boy, that, that was video game-like, the way they passed that around. Cameron, Lightheart, Pescod. Back to Pescod. It was in just cushioned. Castro was also involved. But just the amount, it was a possession goal. And, you know, and don't forget Fred Baptiste coming up the, the left side to start this attack. A couple of great shifts with his shoulder. And they've scored four again. Scored four in the first game. They make this look easy. Like again, they make this look like practice. I'm just banging him in for fun. Liam Caddy plays that back. Gives Rutherford a little bit to do. Castro bundled out into touch. Depre with the throw. And that was Darby. And Darby's understanding is a lot harder to score goals when your team doesn't get a lot of the ball. Unlike the 
previous game. Lightheart tries to play a ball through to Pescod. And Lightheart steals the ball, and that's a foul just outside the box. Sofo, that was a tackle. I mean, that was a true tackle. That was a tackle that an NFL linebacker would be proud of. As I said, the Edmonton Elks playing tomorrow. Chris Jones, the Elks coach and GM, would have seen that and appreciated that tackle. And I think in a, in a game where we're not showcasing talent, that might have been a card. I'm talking to Sofo. I'm for definitely would have been a card. Let's not say maybe. But will this be five? Lightheart with... Oh, and that's a great save to... <laughs> great save from Hawkins to keep it at four. That's just, the you know, the, again, showing the level of dominance that we have from one side. The Cameron with the corner comes in. Hawkins collects, and we have a player down. And the referee has blown the whistle there. Looked like a little bit of a coming together. Maybe he bounced actually off the, his own keeper. It was Tristan Romero. This orange side up four looking to make more changes. But yeah, two goals, eight games for this team too. Sorry, two games, eight goals. I apologize. This is my eighth game in a row. <laughs> and if my tongue gets tied... I'm sure there's members of my family that will tell you that if you gave me the opportunity to talk into a mic for eight hours straight that I'd be able to do it no problem. There's Hawkins. Maybe a knee came up and... But Romero's up, so... None for the worst for wear. Ismail's going to get this roll out. Cameron challenges it, forces a smile inside. And that's a interesting ball play back by Joseph. Make gives Hawkins a lot of work to do to clear that out. Derek Douglas already on two goals. We see the speed he's got. He's on top of that looking for this hat trick. Fred Baptiste. Oh, it just parts for him. He's going to shoot. He's going to score. It's 5-0. No one picked him up. I mean, he picked up the ball, he, and I think he almost looked around like, is this for real? I'm in, ten, I'm in 10 yards of space. I'll take the 10 yards. I'll run forward, get to the top of the box. Still no one really pushing it. I'm just going to shoot. It was shooting practice for him. You really look like this. This And this, I think, is a function of this is the second game for this blue team, and they haven't had a lot of the ball, and they've chased a lot, and it looks to me like, I hate to say this, but it looks like they're a little bit dead on their feet. And it looks to me like, again, when you let the, the ball do the work, you don't get that as tired. I mean, this is something we tell our kids, and the teams that we coach as coaches, even the 9s and 10-year-old. Let the ball do the work. It's one of the oldest adages in soccer, and this is being done to a T by this team, too. Ball played forward. Is there a consolation goal in this for this blue side? I expected this to be a little of a clash of the, the two heavyweights. Instead, this has been an absolute blowout. Pescod comes forward. And that's play for Derek Douglas. Bablitz. Pescod. Plays that. Oh, looking for the head of Cameron. Cameron could have brought that down. He was in acres of space. He could have had time to settle that down. And had a chance. Just really good looking at the body language. You can see the blue team is just... Just walking. Darby. This is, this is where they're at. The three goal man from the last game is back taking the goal kick. Looking to make something happen. I think that's the frustration level on the blue side of the ball. Darby went all the way back. 
uh, to play a goal kick, and that's not where you want your top goal scorer to be on your team. I know they're switching positions and all, but I don't think Darby plays center back. But Darby's back there, doing what he can do. It's almost turned over again. In fact, it was, but it was a slip that allowed. And this is Phobes. It's been impressive. But really, who on this orange side hasn't been impressive? It's just a, it's just a measure of, of how impressive each player's been. Maybe there's levels. But they've made scoring look easy. Nine goals, two games. And we're not done this one. Could be more and balls played to the top. And there you go. I think that's the tired legs against talking. There's a ball played out, and neither of the, the players on team five, the blue team, knew where, where to go with it. As Cameron screws that shot wide. You sense the blue team is just waiting for this final whistle. Wanting this one to be over. It's been a long one hour session for this. Team in blue. Long indeed. The ball's played out to Castro. Castro throws it in for Cameron. And as Clark just gets in there and is anywhere will do. Fred Baptiste has scored the most recent goal. At least I think so. They all kind of meld into one after a while because there's been so many from this, this orange side. Romero got his foot up athletically to try to break up that attack. He just goes long. Liam Cadieu, not going to, in the in the previous game, after being up 4-0, Soren's side allowed a late consolation goal. I'm just wondering if they'll slip and maybe allow another one. Or maybe they've learned their lesson and just going to keep this up, the intensity up, the whole way through. Zahara hits it long. Phobes, first one there. Again, I think this speaks to the tired legs on the blue side. To Claire. Claire through to Phobes. We can see the acres of space. It's hard for these blue players to get back. They're the, it's almost like no one wants to be the guy to take this guy. Castro. Cameron. Darge. He'll shoot. Why not have a shot? Goes over. Now you could just see how how slow the it's been for the blue team to react. And again, this speaks to just how much possession the orange side has had. It's such a big part of the game. And that's the one thing that long periods of possession will do. Especially, it doesn't matter if you're playing the, what level, level of the game. If you're, if you're playing with eight-year-olds in, in, in a minor soccer game or if you're playing in the Champions League final. Possession wears down the other team. It might not pay off results right away, even though it has today for the orange side. But it pays dividends in that second half when the other team has chased so much. And now I have Darby with the ball looking to make something happen. Oh, and he's able to finally turn Z Zahara. He gets to the, the byline, plays it out front. There's no one there. Now Depre turns it around. Maybe can they find a little bit of willpower. Romero all the way up from his defensive position. And the place looks like it will die there. Darby's best sequence of the game so far. Derek Douglas though turning. And you can see the orange players running through. They've got lots of energy. Chase Lightheart. Oh, he tucks through once. And the ball deflects. That'll be another corner. 
Could this be six? What will happen? We will see. Oh, that's a nice switch of play. In terms of change of pace. And there's a shot on goal. That one's collected by Hawkins. Now Dylan Phobes with a shot. Long ball headed for Darby. Hoping to find the, find the man. Oh, he pushes Darge off the ball, but Darge res responds. Preston Chan can't quite get his foot on it. But he really hasn't put a foot wrong, though, today, Preston Chan. Dylan Wolf not going to get there. He turns around. Darge. And there you have Darby thrown to the ground. And there's a ball kind of goes in between. Keeper there wins the battle. It was Torrin Rutherford winning the battle. Beating Oda Biala to the ball. But now it's Dylan Wolf plays that in outside. Oh, and that's a good a great attempt from 20 yards out there. Dylan Wiley, why not have a go? Ball's just wide. And it allows Torrin Rutherford just to play that out to Kadia. Oh, I think a substitution is going to be allowed by the referee. And he said it's the final sub, so you know we're getting down to it. Coach is yelling out, this is the final sub of the game. So we know we're in the final phase. I mean, we know, we know what the result will be of this game in terms of who's going to be the winner, but we'll see if there's any other moments. Phobes plays that out to Chase Lightheart, gets his head down. He's going to beat everyone to the line and then shoots out wide. He had two men across the front. But you know when you're up 5-0, you're going to go for goal. You're looking for your goal. Douglas, Douglas and Chan were running to the front of the goal. They've already got their goals today. That ball's given away. Chan has got it to Douglas. Into Chan. Back to Douglas. Back to Chan. This is just this. Oh. It's so pretty between those two. Those two look like they've played together since they were born. That's six. Ten goals over two games for this team. Team two. Uh, Preston Chan and Derek Douglas. They've just been, just been, when they're on the pitch together, there's just sparks fly. You know, it just doesn't stop. I know when you, you feel like the snowballs are going against you when you're, the, the snowball doesn't stop rolling down that hill when you're in a game like this. But hey, Darby looking to make it interesting. And I don't know if that gets the outside of the post or the keeper, but it stays out and stays in play. The Hara battling with Dylan Wiley. Darby doesn't want to give this up too early. Oh, and there's a chance. And that's shot wide. Darby gets to the front of the goal. Xavier Hanif. And that's it. That's the game at 6. 6-0. Six absolute domination by the team in the orange shirts. Even the referee comes over and gives Preston Chan a handshake. He was just incredible today. He's not the biggest man either. When you see him walking off the pitch with other players. But he plays a foot taller than his size. He really does. And Derek Douglas standing next to them. They walk off together and 
two players who just were outstanding today. I see. And actually, one of the blue players is now limping off. Adam Chabar, we hope he's okay. You can see he's favoring something as he's actually being helped off by one of the players in the orange team. So We'll be back in a few minutes with our final game of the day. Wow, it's, we've got to the final already. Well, not the final. The, uh, this is the, the, the final match of today. There's more games tomorrow. But go home and have a rest today. After a big day, big slate of games today. But we have one more left. Team four in orange will be wearing orange. And team six will be in blue. And that's coming up in a couple of minutes. We'll talk to you in just a couple of minutes. We'll be back here for Edmonton. I'm Stephen Sandor with the FTF Canada Soccer Showcase.
We're back here for the final match. And what do we have here? We have team four in orange and team six in blue. Looking to get forward in this one. On the left side, and we'll introduce you to the teams as they come through. We've seen them both before. But just letting you know, in net for the orange side there, that was Matteo Pagliuso. Sorry, that was on the blue side. That was Nicholas. That was Nicholas Tryon in net for the blue side. Matteo Pagliuso is in goal for the orange side. Orange side going from right to left on your screen. And we'll get here. And and get settled with these rosters again. We've seen these teams before, as I mentioned. And Team 6 is in blue. So it's, that's Jack Ferraro. Playing that ball out. And Team 4 is in orange. That's played short now. That was Manav Prasad to try to play that out. It's team four, they won. Baha Safadi scored on from the penalty spot. And a great goal from Sam House. Team six, they lost a, oh, a wild one, five to three. We'll see what we have in this one. Final. It's Medina ran up the wing there, didn't get it. And my apologies, I think I was identifying one player in a previous game and actually scored a goal. Uh, Alan Sitchett, so if, if, if he was there. I apologize to him, I will get that right. Some of the confusion with the numbers in my, my perspective. Alan Sitchett, and he scored a, a pretty great goal in uh, one of the games for uh, Team 5. Was, this is a right back in my, my book, so when I saw him playing striker, I think I, I thought he, there was someone else that would have to be in. That was a bit of housekeeping I wanted to do to get that straightened out. Steven Sandor here with you as we're in the ninth game of, ninth and final game of the day. The FTF showcase, the ball's played across. Well done there. That was Joel Jaravada getting forward. And this is Medina who's gonna take the, 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 the corner. Pushes that forward. A lot of leaping, this it clears everyone. A lot of leaping bodies not able to get to that Medina corner kick. And the ball comes out to the keeper. And it's Pagliuso who play that out. When he gets the chance, he's gonna take his time first. Pagliuso to play that out. Looking here for, so he plays that out deep. Ball played to the middle. That's kind of played out. It's going to be Medina again. Waiting for Ferraro. Oh, he's going to turn it inside, though. But Sam House plays that out. And that's Sanford. Scored a goal in the previous game. He's got the ball right now. Rides a couple of challenges. Gets set out wide to Medina. Medina's got Ferraro on the outside, and he finds him. And actually doesn't find him. Good little interception there by Michael Sadler, playing the fullback position. Sadler, out. Oh, there's a shot. Paliuso with the save. This blue team probing early. But a 
Couple of attempts there. I think that's Joel Gervada again. Yes, Joel Gervada moving up from his usual fullback position, playing more of a central striker role. He's had a couple of chances there. And he was the one with that recent chance too. Had the other other chance on goal. So really he's been the, the offensive output so far as this ball's turned around. And on the wing, you have Hanif Amusat playing to the middle. And there's a shot and a good save. That was really well done. It was Ben Jingra with that shot coming up. Pushed Pagliuso into that save. He's had a lot of work to do, this Orange team keeper. Oh, great ball played wide, though. We may, may see a little switch of play here. Jasmine Samra. But well handled by the defender. Oh, but he's played that to the middle. And he's allowed the shot to be played out. That was well collected by the keeper there. There's Nicholas Tryon. Forward we go. Long ball, hopeful ball. That was played out for Jack Ferraro. He's not going to get there. Pagliuso play that out. Defender playing that out to the side. That looks like Sam House with the ball. Blue team plays it around the back. It's Christian Hornopoulos moving that ball up in there. I believe that's looking to see who that was. He had the shot on goal earlier in the game too, so I believe that was Kevin Eldridge. Yes, it was Kevin Eldridge. Chance earlier. Or sorry, that's Rahul Mizra, I believe. It's hard to see the numbers sometimes on the far side. Again, we learn these as we go through the through the rosters in the second game, each for some of these teams. Or for both of these teams, actually. For both of these teams, the second game through. Paliuso looking to take the the kick. And will he play this short or will he play this long? He has an escort there. And he does play it short to Prasad. And now it's hammered long. That's well done. Sanford looking to play. Medina on the outside. He's going to cut back inside. Nice. They come in waves a little bit. Sanford loses the ball. This is Jingra. He turns that back to his defender. This is Sanford. Sanford's blocked off. That was a great ball played up by Samra. Now it's across from Eldridge. Looks like Wong. Back to Renopolis. Renopolis trying to find Samra far post, but that's played back by the defender to the keeper, Tryon. Tryon will play that wide out to Medina. Medina's got lots of time. With Medina's got lots of time, lots of space. He can operate in this. Plays the ball through. Medina. Keeper Paliuso. Paliuso. Throwing that out. Now Renopolis. Playing short to the house. Who gets that out onto the wing. And now the looking for the run of Wong. It doesn't pay off, but House is there to pick up the garbage. House. Looking for Wong. Samra being told to get on his bike to try to get to that ball. He's not going to get there. Samra's got... Short option, Eldridge. But doesn't come go to him. 
Sammer's got the ball back. He's got it again. Looks like an offside's been called against Samra. And that's what's happened. Diego Manrique with the with the kick. Trying. Okiki's wide. Okiki's gonna take this. Okiki into the middle of the park. Where he finds Castaneda. That's Pineda. Ferraro. He's come cutting in. Sanford. Just just pushes that wide. The best chances in this game have come from the blue side. They forced Pagliuso into a couple of good saves. Sanford there. Looking to, to hook that into the far inside of the far post. Doesn't get to that, that side. And now we play again. Ball's knocked out wide. Renopolis is there. He's got time and space. He's going to play a long diagonal ball. He's going to try to hit Eldritch. Eldritch is running well. Eldritch gets that foot to it. Sends it over. Really only had the chance of the one touch. What was he going to do with it? And he tries to just hit it. And I think maybe a bit of a hit and hope. Try and have that covered. Keeper brings this up as Tryon. This will be Tryon Pagliuso's last action of the afternoon. We'll have two new keepers in the second half, or keepers we've seen before from other games, but they don't continue. The keepers just last a half. Okeke plays it back to Tryon. Tryon's going to sweep this around, I think. Or no, I think maybe he goes long now. Tries to find... Find... On the, he tried to find Medina on the wing. Ferraro chasing. Fernopolis gets the ball. He's going to cut to the middle. The ball gets played back in. Renopolis on a nice bit of a run here. Now he's out of position. And it's no harm, no foul, because the ball goes in a touch. Wholesale changes coming for the orange side. You can see one, two, three, four, six players going to be changed. Now it's the ball played, and I believe that was Adam Picconi with the th long attempt. Doesn't trouble trying too, too much. Long ball played forward. Not going to quite, and now it plays off for Ferraro. Plays at the Sanford. Sanford tries to get that up. Picconi cuts that out. That's Sam House. Back to Renopolis. And now that's that's in the middle with with Prasad to Piconi. Back out towards Prasad. That was Duke Naylor who played that back to Zhang. Played it back to Prasad. Now it's ended up back on the foot of Naylor. And Naylor's lost out here to Sanford. But Naylor fights to get that ball back, or at least disrupt the attack enough to slow the blue attack down. And now a long shot from distance, so it's okay. Pagliuso had his hand up, like I had that all the way, but it's going to create a corner here. Instead of catching that ball, he let that spill through his hands and it crosses, so... Where it would have been maybe a, a catch from Pagliuso and, a, and, a, and kicking it out and rolling it out. Starting an orange attack. Now, blue team. Team six. Have a corner. I 
A ball's punched out, but it's it falls into no man's land for Medina, but he can't can't get a purchase on it. Zhang will now try to get this out and play this down the wing. He just can't find it. He was looking there for his man out of bio down the wing. Now it's Medina. But Sanford will turn. Sanford. Runs out of space. Squeezed out. Pushed him outside. Defenders did well. I think it was Sam Rao was one of them. The other was Zhang. Zhang's got the throw in. And that's Prasad trying to throw, thread a ball. Trying to thread the needle there. Doesn't quite come off. Long ball played through. Zhang could go a retreat, but I think he's just going to let this go for a goal kick. He's just going to ride escort to get this to his keeper, Paliuso, and then start over. Throw that through. Medina. Can't get there. Here you have Palio, so he'll play that ball out. We're here. The final game of nine today. Six boys games, three girls games at the FTF Showcase. There's going to be nine more tomorrow here at Millwoods Park in Edmonton, south side of the city. And our goal scorer. Here from today, he's pressuring the ball there. That was Safadi who scored from the penalty spot. I think that was, is that the only penalty kick goal we've seen so far? In this, in these nine games, I believe it was. I may be mistaken, but I think Safadi's the only, only penalty kick goal. Keiki, long ball up the wing. Medina's leaping there without a bio. Zhang puts his hand up, just saying, I'm going to take this throw. I know where this is it. I've got this under control. He's looking for Safadi. He's in a battle. You heard help him from, the, from his orange teammates for Safadi there. Out towards Samrao, ball's turned around. And there's Sanford now. Sanford who took the ball from Raheem Kasim. Okeke to Kasim. Back to Okeke. Back. Spread out wide from Okeke. Looking there for the run. But Renopolis cuts it off. And the ball's running to touch. Okay, he will have a throw. That's Sam House who scored a spectacular goal first time this time this team played. Playing a ball through. His orange team though this time they scored twice in their their first game, but the one from the penalty spot, but they're having a hard time finding their way through this blue team that, that gave up five goals the last time they played. Um so Things change between games, as you can see. Certain teams match up in certain ways, and you just don't understand why some teams, where you think, okay, on paper, one team should get forward pretty easily on the other. This team gave up five goals. This team scored a couple in the previous game. So you think that that would work, and then you, then you actually see it play out in the field, and it doesn't work that way. That's why we play the games. That's why we don't play them on paper, and that's why we can we can talk about stats and all that stuff as much as we like. But the game's played on the field. Bacconi cuts that out. Medina plays that ball back. Well played out. Bacconi. Kicking that out. Hernopolis playing a little bit more advanced than we've seen him before. 
think that was House getting mixed up a little bit there with uh, Casaneda. 198 on the blue side. Okay, and Castaneda is the one that heads that out. Okeke. Duke Naylor loses out there, and now we have a chance going the other way. There's a shot. Oh, it's screwed wide. Alex Wanis. He gets a little handshake there from his teammate Raheem Kasim. I even know he liked the run, liked, liked everything, but he screwed the shot wide. I came off the outside of his foot and came near post and then bent outside like a screwball. Ball knocked up into play. Had a bio. Playing that ball wide. Getting Samra. He gets the last touch of the throw is gonna go blue. No, throws yeah, throw is going blue. Kasim can't get to that ball. That's quickly played out. Defense handles that. Out of bio. Can he get possession on it? That's a great tackle. That's an outstanding tackle. Yes, that was that was that was Castaneda with that tackle. He's got the ball again now, pushing that ball forward to Casim, to Medina. Juanis is on the on the wing. He says, "I want that ball." Maybe wanted that a little bit earlier, but it falls to Sanford, so the attack hasn't died yet. In fact, it's still very much alive. Ball comes out wide. It's just shooting chance here. Okay, it's taken off his foot. Akashdeep Singh there with a the chance. Not a name we've called out too much today, but he had the ball to his foot. Taken off of his foot by the defender. I think it might have been Ronopolis that got back there. It will be a corner for this blue team. We're still scoreless. Still nil-nil. Ball's played up here. And this is Duke Naylor playing the ball through as he... Oh, I was not onside. I was about to ask. About to ask the question, was Jasmine Samra onside there for that ball? Looked like he was a yard or two off. The officials agree with me. The play's blown dead for the offside. But a good run from Naylor coming up the middle. Keiki. Castaneda back to Okeke. Kasim. Plays that all the way back. Nicholas trying. Had a bio. Trying to win that ball, but Medina wins it back. And that's played back by Diego Manrique. Kasim. There's the ball forward. Ball is played wide. And it's halftime. Halftime, nil-nil. Blue side with the better chances. Definitely. Team six definitely with the better chances than team four in this one. Paliuso was e equal to the challenge and a couple of chances that went wide. We'll have our finer, final keeper change. So as we go into the, the final... The final half of the day. Connor Short will go in for the orange side and Torin Rutherford will go in for the blue side.
So Renopolis gets the ball to start the second half. As I said, it's not really much of a break. They just switch sides, basically. Gasp takes that ball. Grenopolis left that ball short. And here comes the shot. Easily gathered. I believe that's Connor Short. Yes, it is. Looking to take his time to play this one out. Gets it to Ronopolis. Short takes it again. Looking where the play is at. He decides there's nothing close for him, so he just plays it long. Jingra plays that back. Kasim. He gets that wide to Juanis. Juanis looking for Medina. It doesn't come off. Have we seen our final goals for the day? Do we have a couple more left in this final half? The first day of the FTF Canada Showcase. Renopolis plays that back. Keeper Connor Short has to get that out of trouble. Duke Naylor, now it's lost out. That's a good turn there. Long ball played in. Well, panic defending. And it's Jingra who's going to have purchase on that. He forces the keeper into a diving stop. Connor Short knocks that out in the touch for a corner, but Jingra decides to have a go from the top of the box. And that was actually set up a, a little bit a while ago. James Laurie, a nice turn to get that ball into the penalty area, but 135 on the blue side. Nice little turn. Juanis gets that ball to the far corner, and I think that sneaks through a whole bunch of people, and I think it's Ruiz that gets on the end of it and just knocks it in. But I think that, that caught everyone by surprise. Juanis played that through, and I believe that is Ruiz. Gets on the end of it and knocks it in for a 1-0 lead. And really, it's what the blue team deserve. They've been the better side. They've, they've created the chances. And really, just almost an excuse me play, a kick that comes in. And it was almost like the, the orange side got flat-footed, surprised that that was taken. And yes, it was 2 207. It was Nicholas Ruiz with the goal. Off the free kick from Juana, or off the kick from Juanis. He'll get the assist there. Gets to the back post, but Ruiz just there undetected and just says, okay, thank you very much. I'll direct this one in, and he did. And it's 1-0. But now it's, there's some urgency has to be to come into the Orange Sides game. It's Prasad who loses out there. And now it's Lori again. And now Jang trying to play it up. Kasim to Lori. Wanis, is he going to have a shot? Yes, he's going to have a shot. Low one that Connor, Connor Short gets to. Connor Short's going to play this out. Where is it going? He's going to play that long. It's headed down. Castaneda back to Okeke. That's out to Nicholas Ruiz. Your goal scorer. Kasim. Jingra. Looked like wanted to get Wanis down the wing, but Wanis was in an offside position. Everyone had their hands up. Looked like grade one where everyone has the answer to the question. And all put their hands up. Want to be the first one to answer the teacher's question. There were so many hands up for that one. And there were about ten linesmen on the pitch for that one. Jang plays this one long. Castaneda, he doesn't get good purchase on that one. Ambitious effort, though, coming in off, the, off, of, the, off of the wing by Michael Sadler. Ball is presented to him. He decides, I'm going to have a go. And that was, that was ambitious. But why not? 1-0 to the blue team. Goal by Nicholas Ruiz. Kiki. Going to play that wide. That's 
That's Laurie playing that to Wanis. Wanis getting that outside, getting the overlap. And they'll go for a corner of an orange defender as Wanis already going to take that. Alexander Wanis. And Connor Short grabs that. Now he's gonna try to start breaking this team, breaking this orange team out to Wong. Ball though calls to Nicholas Ruiz, and Ruiz has got time. Played it towards Laurie, but actually ends up for to Kasim. He's gonna play that wide to Wanis, and Wanis has got some space here. What can he do? He cuts plays that in the middle to Kasim. That's broken up. Wong's gonna try to turn this around. He's fouled. Eldritch, if he that was a, a, a good foul. If there ever is one, Renopolis will get ready to take it. I think if, if Wong could have hooked up a pass to Eldritch there, running down the right the right channel, he, Eldritch was off to the races. He might have been unopposed to goal. This Raul Mizra throws that into the area and will go for a goal kick. Really hopeful. But one that wasn't going to come off. There, the ball's played in as Kasim turns really well there. Turns again. Plays that ball out. The ball's played out wide on the channel. There's not really a chance there. Wind's picking up a little bit, as you can tell. Breeze is, is a little stronger than it was earlier in the day. You can see the flag there bending pretty strong where I think that Zhang is about to take the throw, the, the throw in. You can see that's uh, no longer uh, a still. Eldritch, though, loses purchase on that one. Apologizes as Ruiz will take the throw. Okay, key. Really basic there. Just playing that ball to the middle, rolling it in. Laurie gets it into a decent spot. Try to roll it through two defenders. Couldn't get it through. Sam Rao tries to win a ball. Can't. I think that's Castaneda playing that out. Juanis, who's been very good today. The back of his heels clipping that back. Now that's Singh running for the ball. Can he get there? He can't. Singh being chased there by, I think, by Duke Naylor. There. Connor Short. His chance to play this out to Renopolis. To Short. Just played out wide. There we throw that out. Keiki. That's cut off. Eldritch trying to play Wong Long. Castaneda runs him out. Who gets the throw? It will be Stephen Wong. Sam Rao. Eldritch. Ball's hooked out wide. Jonathan Tryon getting the ball. And he's going to boot this long. Sing. Has a chance. Now it's Naylor. Playing it to Eldridge. Now Naylor on the run. There's a chance now for Orange. They've got numbers coming forward. Playing that ball long. And it's just over the head of Wong. The ball's played out. Now has the field stretched a bit. Does Blue have a chance to counter? 
Kasim. There's the ball. Singh is, Singh is in acres of space. Maybe too much space. Maybe an offside amount of space. Because everything comes back. Referee checks his watch. I think there's still some time left. So he's having a look. Maybe he's got to be somewhere. I'm not sure. We are here. This Prasad will take this. He hammers it long. Wong. Cushion header trying to play that into space. But okay. Keiki gets that out. Singh is going to try to run up the wing. Played back to Okeke. Good control by the blue side. Kasim. Trying to play through this orange pressure. And that's what they're doing. Castaneda. Playing it out. Again, Kasim. He's got Ruiz coming now. Help on the wing. Into Lori. Back to Ruiz. Ruiz loses out to Eldridge. Eldridge. Now out on the outside. Far side. That's Diego Manrique. He'll push the ball across to Kasim. Keiki to Kasim. He has time to turn. Takes it. Plays that ball wide. Juanis. In back to, K to Kasim. Into Juanis who's going to play that out. And that's Manrique. Now another wave of, at of attack coming. Manrique chips that in. Hopeful ball into the box. Connor Short takes that. He's going to play that first as quickly as he can. A little bit of an awkward bounce for Eldridge. Ball comes out to Michael Sadler. And now it's, it's Laurie who will have time to control. Okay, Key. Okay, Key. Back to Lori. Kasim. Coming through. Chipped out by Hronopoulos. Oh. Okay, he got caught. Now there's three attackers coming forward. Sadler's got the ball on the outside. Can he cut that inside? Yes, he can to Eldridge. Eldridge, first time. Good save by Tryon. This will be a corner kick. Orange is maybe best chance. As this is that the, this team's best chance of the game. Team Four's best chance of this game. We'll see some changes coming. And here we go. And here comes the corner kick. Here the keeper. The other end encouraging his team, saying, I need we need to get ahead on this, need to be first two. But they play it short to Naylor, and that allows that ball to sort of play him a little bit. On uh, on that bounce, it kind of comes up on him. It's not smooth on the short corner. Oh, and Laurie looks good there. But Naylor kind of gets that ball back after Sam House helps him out. Sam Rao plays that out wide. So Naylor didn't realize he thought he had more time than he did, but Ferraro was on him. Ferraro's now got the ball. He's got lots of space on the wing. What's Ferraro going to do with it? Ferraro with a little bit of a roll. Beats Sam House with the heel roll, but House recovers. And it was a foul called anyways on Blue, and I think it was away from the ball. And No. It's actually on Orange. It was, I think, called away from the ball. I don't think this was actually between House. The, 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 I don't think this was the battle between House and Ferraro. I think this was the battle that 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 uh, Kasim, our free kick taker, was having with another player. And the referee spotted that. He was being held back. And he's going to be able to, to launch this ball in. Is he going to go far post here? I think he is. No, he's going to go for goal. Oh, and the ball comes up. And that's a, that's a finish. That's what happens when that bounce on the turf. And it catches Connor short in the midsection. He can't squeeze it.
Was that Laurie with the goal there on the rebound? But it was Kasim's shot that I that came forward. Two nil. Connor Short will feel he maybe should have caught that ball first time. I mean, it, it is on turf, and it does come up and get him. But he spills that ball. And again, this is the Orange team not reacting quickly enough to that rebound. I think they're expecting their keeper to hold on to the ball. And then there's, if it, if it wasn't one, it was someone's going to finish that chance. But there was your goal to make it 2-0. Now the blue team, all the confidence in the world now. Feeling Kasim playing it wide. Nicholas Ruiz. And Sanford now in a much more recessed role. He's been playing forward for this team most of the time. And now he's back in a full back position again. This is the kind of universality that these teams need to have. Modern modern scouts want to see, modern coaches want to see. They want to know that you are adaptable and be able to play different positions. And Sanford's now playing that fullback role. When he'd been playing up much much more up front earlier in this game. Here's goal score from the first game, Safadi. Or for the first time this team played. He scored one from the penalty spot. He's going to try to hook one inside near post, and he doesn't doesn't quite get it. Ball played black. Tryon's got that. He'll cushion that off to Sanford. Sanford's out in the wing. He's got that to, to Ruiz, and Ruiz oh just touch lets him down. He's had a great game. We'll let him have that one. House. Eldridge. Trying to ride a challenge. He does, but he can't get much on the shot. He's frustrated with himself. You can see that. And it's a long, long walk for trying to go get that. Hits the fence. Doesn't bounce back for him at all. It's got a long, long walk. We were here at the FTF Canada Showcase. We're in the final half of the ninth game. That's it. Nine games today. Final half. And we will have nine more tomorrow. Here in Edmonton at Millwoods Park. Ball comes forward. Ferraro is a long one. Route, route one. And he's, he's the first one there. Ferraro chips it. Oh, and he doesn't come down for him. And he's mad at himself. Shore came off the line. But that was route one. Try and just punch that down the middle. Ferraro was the first one onto it. Piconi going to play that out. Now he's Sandhouse going forward. Keeper trying, just leaps on it. He no chance going forward. He's going to roll that out towards... The right side, going away from the pressure. Giving his team some chance to break out. They're up 2-0. They have, they have a cushion to work with. There's Laurie. And Jang loses out there. A little bit of confusion. Kasim coming forward. That's a good ball. Good pass. Kasim gets it back. Kasim going to have a shot right at the keeper. I'm sure it gets it right in the gut. Takes it down. Plays it forward towards Sam House. And Sadler. Try to get that ball up the wing. He's going to have another chance in the throw in. Pacconi. 
Probably going to take this long. It's a long, long diagonal ball. Look, Vratabayo doesn't come off there. And it's Ross Van Ruyen who had the ball out towards Sanford. Sanford back out to Van Ruyen. That's hit long by the keeper. Trying. A blue side can't keep that in. It'll be an orange throw. We head down in terms of time. Some changes being made. A couple of, couple of switches. Now there's a turn. Play back to the keeper short. Gets it out to Piccone. Comes wide to Sadler. No, nope, Sadler did not keep it in. I think that was well detected by Ferraro. Just missed earlier on a chip chance. Ruiz gets the ball. Ruiz again getting the ball from Laurie. Playing it for this is a little bit of a good this is a good run. Laurie has a chance. That was Jaravada. Trying to link up with Lori there. Creating something. Short throws this out. Ball is played from the from the fullback. Coming into Wong. He can't get that up the field, so Ruiz gets it. Sadler again knocks that out. Sam House wins the ball, plays that back. And that was Haji, Quay's Haji, who played that ball. Laurie. So trouble has one Rui into him. And that was Safadi. Tried to play the ball. He's going to get a free kick, I think, here. Zhang is going to tell, just tells everyone to go long. You see, he's just shooing everyone away. And get down the field. I'm going to hammer this long, which he does. Sanford gets to it first, and Sanford heads that away, and it's going to go for a throw. That looks like Samra who's going to take this throw. Yes, it is. Samra's going to take the throw. That's Quay's Haji who loses out there. It's Pineda. To Kasim. Kasim's played a lot in this game. Really hard to miss. He's had an excellent, excellent performance today. In this game. It's free kick set up the second goal. He plays that ball forward. But Connor Shorts comes out. Oh, a little bit late contact there. Referee calls game, so it's over at 2-0. There's a little collision at the end, but sh hands are shaken. As Henny Famosat ran into the keeper, but that's it. That's going to be it for the day today. A 2-0 result. And that ends uh, our first day of the FTF Canada Soccer Showcase here at Edmonton. We'll be back tomorrow. 8 a.m. Edmonton time. That's mountain time, so if you're in the eastern time zone, because we always use the eastern time zone as a reference, it's 10 a.m. We'll be back here at Mill Woods uh, Park on the south side, and we'll be back for another nine games tomorrow. It's been a pleasure to be with you. My name is Stephen Sandor, and again, signing off from the FTF Canada Soccer Showcase here in Edmonton. Thank you for watching.